And good Saturday morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us once again. Morning. Good morning. Uh, as you can see, we got another special guest with us this week. We got Graphic Man. Micah, welcome aboard, sir. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. <laughs> Great to have you with us. Thanks for joining us. And he's going to show us some of his uh, collection and along with some uh, great artwork, too. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, so everybody having a good weekend so far? Yep. Weekend good. Week, you know, we talked earlier. Not so good, but all good now, you know. Yeah, uh, they're, they're, uh, your 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 mom is definitely in our prayers, and hopefully everything is uh, uh, my mother-in-law actually. Yeah, mother-in-law. I'm sorry. Yeah. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, we just uh, got over a two-day snowstorm, uh, snowstorm, ice storm here. Uh, so I'm 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 about shoveled out. I really. <laughs> I, I, I'm really good with winter. I mean, Mother Nature, please. <laughs> Springtime in Maine, huh? Oh, I'm telling you, you know. And uh, not only that, but like uh, here it is. Basically, you got to figure it's probably the last storm, right, of the, yeah. of the season, really. And, oh. and what happens to uh, my my sister-in-law and the, and her family? Uh, a tree comes down. They they live in a mobile home. It goes through. The kitchen and destroys the kitchen. Oh, not good. And it's just like, and and the her husband, uh, my brother in law, he is in Boston right now in Boston Hospital undergoing uh, a procedure because he had uh, throat cancer. Oh, so I mean, yeah, they've just been a couple a hit. big hits, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's like bang, bang. So uh, you know, uh, send any positive thoughts and and prayers you can. Uh, Absolutely. Their way, we would greatly appreciate it. So, but uh, all right. So, Micah, yes. How's things in your neck of the woods? About forty-seven degrees. Um, <laughs> I do have a tree down in my backyard. I've been slowly picking away at it uh, with my little electric chainsaw. Ah. So it's going to be a long process. But uh, <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Uh, we got uh, all kinds of sticks and everything, branches down. Thank goodness none of them hit the cars. Yeah, Not on wood. But uh, all right. Well, we're going to open up the gates here to the peanut gallery. You think we're they're ready? think we're ready. <laughs> yeah. No, but we'll do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's bring in the nuts. And good morning to everybody in the peanut gallery. Thank you for joining us once again on this Saturday morning. Good morning, guys. Oh, let's see what's going on with the peanut gallery. You want to start off, partner? Yeah, we can do that. All righty. Okay, we got our man, Anthony Purdue here. He says, good morning, peanut peers, because food is a gallery subject of interest. I offer my celebration of the hot dog to save me from committing a crime in sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> Jay and Charlie, comic book friends. We're in my classroom. Our teacher was Miss Wadsworth. One afternoon, we saw her frantically searching her purse. Three other guys were also watching her, enjoying her confusion. Mm. Charlie asked one of the guys what's going on. He told Charlie that for two days, he and his friends would hide in the closet at lunchtime, then come out and take money from her purse. Oh, God. <laughs> Larceny going on here. Yeah. If I was going to join them, I... <clears throat> what, did I skip something here? Uh, I thought no. would take money from her purse. If I was going to join them, I told them, no, today's Thursday. They're serving hot dogs in the cafeteria. Knowing my love of hot dogs, they accepted my decision and stayed behind. 
After enjoying my hot dog lunch, I learned that the guys were now in the principal's office awaiting their parents' arrival. Miss Wadsworth figured out what happened. Yes. Dum, dum, dum. Uh, and so, pretending to go to lunch, she waited for them to come out of the closet, then escorted them to the principal's office. She and the looters had suspicions about me that weren't true. And couldn't be proven because my friends were involved. She firmly believed that I was also involved in some way. The looters believed I snitched. That's why I didn't join up with them. Oh, well, he's getting it from both ends on that one. Yeah. He says, she didn't want any of us in her classroom anymore, so the principal moved each of us in pairs to other classrooms. I went. I was sent to Izzy's classroom, New Gods number 10, all from the story last week, for the rest of the semester. Cafeteria Thursdays, wienerful days indeed. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of trouble to go through for hot dogs. I'm down. Absolutely, you. absolutely. But it saved saved you from a life of crime. There you go. <laughs> Anthony, thank you so much for that wonderful memory, that wonderful story. We appreciate it yeah, as, well, as we always do. A lot of fun. And then we got uh, coming up next the musical maestro himself, ECR, Easy Comic Reader. There he is. And he says, a good, a groovy morning, everybody, in honor of our special guest, Graphic Man, to the tune of Paperback Writer by the Beatles. Now, I've just had a crash course in Paperback Writer. I couldn't remember it. So, so uh, y'all have to bear with me now. So let's see if I can do this any kind of justice. <clears throat> Dear Micah, will you redesign my book? It took me years to find. Will you take a look? It's been scuffed up, thrown around for years. Needs a cover job, so you want to be my paperback reviver. <laughs> paperback reviver. Yes, yes. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, I'm sorry once again, ECR. Uh, uh, you know uh, that your magnificent words have to be ruined by uh, my golden tones. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> excellent, excellent job! Thank you again so much. Uh, we always appreciate your musical creativity every week. Look forward to it. Those, so thank you very much. Appreciate that, sir. All right, let's see who else is hanging out here in the peanut gallery this morning. Michael Taylor's in the house saying hello to ECR. Hey. And Maranya with the Blue Wrench. She's hanging out here this morning as always. Thank you, Maranya. Great Thank to have you, you here with us once again. She says, great story, Anthony. Perfect song for today as always. ECR. Michael, she also says hello to Michael. And Michael saying ECR, great stuff as usual. And Michael Taylor says hello to Maranya. And Maranya, I met Lou Gossett Jr. passed away, not Morgan Freeman. Yeah, I heard oh, about that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was sad. Yeah, my wife mentioned that to me midweek or so. That was too bad because he was a really good actor. I really enjoyed him. Yeah. Maranya says, I, yes, I found that out myself, Michael. Sad. Bad news. Yes. And Eric Kay's in the house. Hello, Eric. Hey, Eric. How you doing? He says, he says, Go ahead. He says hello to our host in the peanut gallery. And Michael Taylor says hello to Anthony. And also to Eric K. Eric K says, hey, Michael. And Fireball Comics is in the house. <laughs> hey, Good Fireball. Morning, Great to have you with us, sir. <laughs> and he's like, I, I want to go back to sleep. Yeah, if I had to watch this, I'd have the same feeling, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> I have to be a part of it. If I could add here. Fireball's been posting some really good stuff on Instagram. Y'all need to sub him up and check that out. Absolutely. Well, good deal. Yeah. Michael Taylor saying hello to Fireball. And comic book G-Man's in the house. Hey, Rob. Great to have you with us, sir. Good morning, Rob. He says hello, gentlemen, and hello to all the peanut gallery. Cool beans. Cool beans. Great to have you with us once again. Tempest from Mars is also with us. He's saying half afternoon all. TPM or TFM. Why do I say TPM? I don't know. TFM. <laughs> Sorry. It's already the afternoon on Mars, huh? Yeah. That's it. Already. That's yeah. It. Thank you for spending part of your Saturday with us. We greatly appreciate Absolutely. it, as always. 
Michael Taylor saying hello to Doc Shannon and Micah the Graphic Man. And hippies in the house. Excelsior True Believers. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Great to have you with us once again. Michael Taylor says hi to G-Man. And also to TFM. Got it right that time. And the great legend, Rob. Hey, how you doing? Great legend. Hey, Rob. Good to see you, buddy. He says, great seeing you guys. Micah, awesome. And as a little footnote, the great great legend will be appearing with Micah on Wednesday night. Awesome. So, Good deal. Just a little preview, a little snippet right there. Yep. yep. Mike Taylor says, hello, hippie. And the great legend saying hi to hippie. Mike Taylor says, hello, legend. And he's saying hi to Michael and all the chat. And the great legend also says hi to the G-Man as well. And if he says, hey, Michael, Rob, you rowdy Texan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Lady M says, good morning to Eric, Fireball, G-Man, Legend, TFM, and Hippies. She's getting them all in one shot right there. Yeah. And Michael getting a fist bump from G-Man. There we go. And Robert Harrison, 2.0, one of our neighbors to the north. Robert, great to have you with us this morning, sir. Yeah, good morning, Bobby. How you doing? He says, good morning, boys and girls. Now, while I got Robert right here, Robert contacted me this week and had a great question to ask everybody in the peanut gallery. So hold on just a second here. Let me just get my act together. we go yes uh robert wants to know from the peanut gallery do you guys remember your first comic book convention your first comic book show that you ever went to what you bought what you saw what you did what you ate <laughs> right <laughs> hey why not you and know how much money you spent <laughs> yeah exactly there you go what gems did you bring home, you know? So uh, thank you so much, Robert. I thought that was an awesome, excellent question to ask the peanut gallery. So we'll be hopefully be getting their answers throughout the show. And Hippies Collectibles is saying hi, you Lady M. And Fireball Comics says, I've dodged five tornadoes the past two wow. weeks. Missed a few by wow. a few miles each time. Holy mackerel. Yeah, yeah, we had to, we had to go into our shelter at work the other day because it was like a tornado warning in the next county over. So yeah, yep. they're oh, popping wow. up all over the place. See that that is such a foreign thing for us up here because yeah. we don't we don't usually get tornadoes or hurricanes. Very very rarely will anything make its way up here. Uh, I think the last one was in like the in the eighties. I think was the last time. I, I was still a service tech for the cable company at that point and had to go out and repair lines and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's so weird when you hear that. And it's just like, I can't imagine living and having to, that's something else you have to pay attention to in your life is tornado warnings and, and hurricane warnings. Well, Mikey, you're, you're pretty much in the tornado alley there, aren't you? I am. And they are a big concern here. Um, you guys may have remembered the uh, Joplin situation a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, uh, that, yeah. that, that's about an hour uh, to the to the west of me. But uh, yeah, I usually just go to sleep though, and my wife stays <laughs> up and monitors all that. And if it gets bad, she'll let me know because I would just sleep through it. So. <laughs> no, I don't have time to worry about that. <laughs> and she worries. She worries enough for the whole county. So. <sighs> Micah says, I'm on a need-to-know basis. That's right. If it ain't happening, I don't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> In more ways than one. Awesome. Yeah. Well, well, Fireball, well, great to hear that news, man, that you missed them all. Hopefully that streak continues. Yeah. 
And Eric K saying, Morning, Maranya, Hippie Comic, G-Man, and Robert Harrison, and Fireball Comics as well. <laughs> and Another if I one. can say uh, this real quick, uh, Eric K is putting up some great videos. Yes, uh, he is. Yeah, showing us shows comics and cats, man. It's it's good yeah. stuff. I love it. So, I love it. Love uh, it. You're going to show some of, yeah, some of our favorite stuff with the Justice League and, and all that good stuff. So I still got one or two I got to catch up on, just like everybody else. I'm always behind. But, yeah, to go check out his stuff. It's great content. Absolutely. I've been uh, been really uh, uh, loving uh, the uh, introduction to Ozzy and Harry. So uh, I haven't seen the third one yet. I'm, I'm curious to know who the third one, uh, about the third one. So Eric's been great posting those videos. So definitely check out his channel. Lots of fun. Tempest from Mars says, all right, Michael Maranya, and hello to Graphic Man as well. <laughs> And the great legend saying hello. Good morning to Maranya. And Maranya says, I howdy do to Rod, Micah, Shannon, along with Robert. Thank you, Maranya. Great to have you with us once again, as we, as we say. She's running herd on this group. Uh-oh. Geeky Puppet Show's in the house. Good morning, governors. <laughs> <laughs> Hippies Collectible says, hiya, Robert. Good morning to Eric. And great legend saying, hey, RDV. Brian just says, good morning to Froggy. I figured it and was Paul funny. S. with my favorite avatar says, good morning, Peanut hey. Gallery. Welcome back, Shannon. Thank yeah, you, kind good. sir. Happy to be back and happy to be in such great company this morning. Paul, thank you so much for spending a uh, part of your Saturday with us once again. Greatly appreciated, sir. Geeky Puppet Show says, it's 50 degrees here. I'm sweating to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Ron, you're saying hey to Paul. The acquisitions of Dr. Fives. Great to have you with us, Dr. Fives. Hey, welcome, sir. He says good morning to everyone. Thank you so much for spending your Saturday with us. Appreciate it, sir. And the Geeky Puppet shows in. Hey, legend. And comic book G-Man says, legend, I always try to catch my Dr. Silver Agent Shannon. Couple of fist bumps right there. Thank you, sir. And we're on your saying, hush, you pampered frog. It's 45 <laughs> degrees here. <Yeah. laughs> Marania says, good morning to you, Dr. Fives. And Michael Tell says, we oh, had yeah. a small, quick earthquake. Yeah, I heard about that. Nothing serious. My room was shaking a little. It's rare to get an earthquake here in NYC. Yeah, I did hear Ooh. that. Wow. See, that's another thing. Rarely do we have any earthquakes up here either. You know, all we get is snow. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, that's good to hear, Michael. We, we always love to hear good news when it comes to this kind of stuff. So, Hippies Collectible says, my favorite teacher is Miss C Crabtree. I remember her. She got a wooden <laughs> leg and three sets of false teeth. <laughs> oh man oh eric k says it's 72 here in sunny south florida i am heading back up to north ga uh north georgia on though on monday oh. oh i wonder what the temperature difference is between north georgia and sunny florida not 30 sure. degrees <laughs> i hope not <clears throat> Mike Dale says, hello, Dr. Fibes. And the great legend says, please like this video. Thank you, Rob. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you very much, Rob. Really appreciate that, sir. Triple C is in the house. Cheap comic collector. Great to have you with us, sir. <laughs> he says, good morning, folks. Good morning, Triple C. And Maranya says, my favorite teacher from kindergarten through college is hands down Jim Forbes, my college etching teacher. He taught me more about drawing than all my college teachers combined. Oh, Those are the good ones. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. I had two teachers, two art teachers uh, that really took the time to, to spend with me and, and help me out. Uh, Carl Fikes in, in my middle school and then uh, John Roback in high school. Uh, I was always grateful for those two guys. Always wondered what happened to both of them. I don't know. 
And the Geeky Puppy Show says it's now 51 degrees. How will I ever survive this heat wave? <laughs> <laughs> time, for, time for some ice cream. Yep. Rorania says I have an ice cold Mountain Dew for Huggy. <laughs> and the comic book G-Man says nice doctor. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. And Easy Comic Reader says awesome job, Rob. <clears throat> Makes my Saturdays to hear you sing, brother. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, uh, you are too kind, sir. Believe me, I know <laughs> you are too kind. But thank you so much again for uh, your musical comic stylings. We look forward to them every week, man. Absolutely. And Hickey Pop's in the house. <laughs> Says, hey, everyone in the peanut gallery. Hey, Hickey, how we doing, buddy? Hickey, well, great to have you with us, sir. That was well timed, guys. That was really good. <laughs> hey, we ain't no rookies. I know. <laughs> we ain't no rookies. We've learned a thing or two. <laughs> <laughs> if he's collectible saying yo yo, Higgy. And Maranya's saying Higgy Pop with the bells. <laughs> and we got Higgy Pop saying hello. Who are the two handsome hello to our two handsome hosts. <laughs> Boy, oh, you got to put the glasses on. I was going to say, he got to fix some glasses. Yeah, we might have a handsome host uh, up here, a co host, but uh, there we go. Them two guys. <laughs> right. Holy mackerel. Easy comic readers is right. There we go. And Hinky Pop said, Of course, Micah is handsome. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> And Michael Taylor says, Eric K., I don't think you're old enough to be on this show. Oh. <laughs> oh. And Ronnie said, just finished a fried egg sandwich my husband made for me breakfast. Perfect breakfast to go with CBM and the gang. That oh, sounds good. There you go. Nothing like a good breakfast and some CBM on a Saturday morning, right? Eric K., he's laughing about it. And... Oh, we're getting wow. some info on the first con. Oh, uh, there we go. 1975, Marvel Comic Con, New York City. I bet that was a great one. Oh, yeah, that had to have been cool. It was yeah. sponsored by Marvel. Can you imagine the bargains he probably found in 1975? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And all the all the people that he got to see probably for free, you know. Stacks of Hulk 181, you know. <laughs> Hippie, we want some details, brother. We want some details. Lady M says, I never went to a comic book convention per se, but MediaWest.com had all forms of media, so it sort of counts. I was more of a Star Wars LARPer, live action role player, uh, so no comic books for me. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Nothing wrong with Great. Star Wars. Absolutely. That's pretty cool. And Gotham City Comics is in the house. Good morning, Kevin. Glad to have hey. you. Kevin, great to have you with us, sir. If you get a chance, check out his channel and his store. Awesome. If you if you live, I wish I would live close by because I would love to check out his store uh, in person, man, because he's got some a lot of cool stuff. So definitely check him out. I'm getting a package from him today. It should be a oh, those new cool. mon monster yeah. magazines I ordered. So Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. So we see those Wednesday night? Sure. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Good deal. And Ron, you're saying good morning, GCC. Comic book G-Man says, Star Trek convention, 25 an 25th anniversary. I bought a phaser replica, the 250 at the time, and he met with Leonard Nimoy, had a drink with him as well. Awesome. Oh, very cool. Very cool. I got a... Who else can say they boosted up with Spock? That's it. That's it. Uh, speaking of phases, this is a uh, a remote for TV uh, for <laughs> cable box, but in the shape of in the form of a phaser. So not not the cool phaser that I I would I would want the the, the original Star Trek you, phaser. You want you know? the flip phone phaser? I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's that's what I'd want. But that was still pretty cool. So I'll take yeah. it. So very cool, Rob. Thank you for sharing that story, brother. Mike and Taylor says, Robert, I haven't been to a comic show in ages. I hope to go one within the next 10 years. I vaguely remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. It's been a long time since I've been to one. So, and I'm looking forward to going to one next weekend. 
Lady M says my comic book habit has always been fed by people's drugstore spinner racks and comic book comic book stores where I lived and on visits to friends in Delaware. I understand okay. that because for a long time uh, before I went to any conventions or anything around here, um, that's I did the same thing. Rexall drug stores, uh, convenience stores, stop and go, you know, yep. fun times, fun times. Hey, lead paint is with us today. Great to have you with us, sir. He's waving to everybody. Hey, lead paint. Good morning, sir. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks for spending part of your Saturday with us. And Nicky Pop says my first convention was in New Haven, Connecticut in the eighties. I bought Conan 2, and at home, I told my dad how much I paid for it, and that's when he pulled my spine out. <laughs> yeah, I remember that story. Pain, <laughs> painful as it is to, to relive every time he tells it. Pulled my spine out. Ow! <laughs> oh, and the Professor Eric Green is with us once again. Hey, hey Eric. Good morning. It says, uh... Did I see the governor mold himself in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> the governor mold. And Paul awesome. has to say hello to Maranya. And Maranya says, yes, you did, Eric. Good morning to you, she says. And Eric Bree says, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Fireball Comics says the first comic book convention I attended was in the early 80s and was a few scruffy old guys that set up tables in a tiny room. The second one was a slightly bigger room. <laughs> Lash LaRue was there. Oh, awesome. Oh, wow. Very cool. Thank you for sharing that story with us, Fireball. Yeah, nice. What, 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 what cool things did you pick up? That's the next part. And Michael tells us the New York Comic Con is not too far from me every October. But admission prices are outrageous. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's the thing that, that's going to that has kept me from going to the shows around here, uh, even in Kentucky. I mean, it's just stupid paying twenty dollars for parking and all that. I'm like, you know, I'd rather just go to a little con, ten or twelve dealers, and yep. most time parking is free or maybe five bucks at the most. And yeah, I'm kind of done with the big ones. Yeah. Well, I've, I've never really had a whole lot of opportunity to go to a big one. The biggest one I ever went to was, uh, 2017. It was a gift from my daughter and her friend, uh, uh to go to the Boston con. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. They bought me a ticket to meet Stan Lee. So I got Stan Lee to sign, uh, uh Hulk number two for me. Um, I also got Neil Adams to sign, uh, the second half of the drug, uh, book, um, with the, the one with the giant needle yeah. on it. I think it's 86 green lantern. Yeah. 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 I believe I got that one signed by him too. Yeah. Right. That was, that, that was, that was just a, a fun time. I really enjoyed it. <clears throat> I didn't get the chance though, to go dive through the, the, the long boxes at that one because it was just so cram packed with people. But, um, uh, I'm hoping next weekend uh, the, it's going to be a slightly smaller show. It's still a big one for around here, but it's a slightly smaller show than that one. So I'm looking forward to seeing what I could dig in the long boxes there. So, all right. Michael Taylor says, hello, Eric. And Eric saying, hey to Michael. Maranya says, good morning to Triple C. And Eric K says, my first comic show was at a mall in the 90s. It was during the hype of Nightfall. <laughs> I do remember that. I remember they used to have uh, like a like a monthly show uh, come to one of the local malls, uh, and they would set up like in the the middle of the mall, and that was always good. You could always get some great deals there. Paul S says it is fifty degrees here in Georgia. There we go. I think it's only like thirty three or thirty four here. And Mastodon Comics and Music is in the house. Good morning, sir. Yes, great to have you with us, Mastodon. Yeah, he says, when two worlds collide, great to see this amazing panel this morning. Absolutely. Very lucky to have Graphic Man with us this morning. Lady M says, good morning to Mastodon. Watch out, Eric. We'll try to ride you like Fred Flintstone. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael Dustin said, Higgy, sounded like... You said two handsome hulks. 
<laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Tempest from Mars says, the first comic sale I went to was in Manchester in the early 80s. I came back with a Marvel tre Treasury Edition number 13. That's right, a Marvel comic. I had no idea what I was doing back then. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Thank you for that story, Tempest. Yeah. Appreciate it. And Moran, you says, I did pick up some cool freebie Marvel comic books at the WorldCon 1989 in Boston, though. Also had my first sushi there. Still love sushi to this day. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> cool beans. Thanks for sharing it. The Geeky Puppet Show, he says, says hey, Moranya, I'm doing some LARPing right now. I'm pretending to be awake. <laughs> And comic book G-Man says, nice. <laughs> and Michael Taylor says, Graphic Man is one of those mags, the new famous monsters? I believe so. It's got Gorgo or Cor whatever the from uh, Charlton Comics on it. Yeah. Uh, Gorgo? Um, yeah, I wanted to see that. So Cool beans. Good deal. Look forward to seeing it. Lady yeah, M says, right. I'm still awake for now, Froggy. I'm planning on getting some sleep after the show so I can be awake for tonight's readings. There you go. And Hippie's Collectible says that phaser looks like my razor. <laughs> <laughs> Paul S. says, hey, Higgy, love the Justice League of America 29 video the other day. Absolutely. Yeah, I haven't got to see that one yet, so I'm about to pick up on it. Uh, I got, I still got a few to catch up on with the Higgy. He's, he's a prolific video-making machine over there. He is. If you get a chance, definitely check out Higgy's channel, though. You won't be disappointed. And the Geeky Pub Show says, I'm slowly drifting off to sleep. Oh, boy. <laughs> Master Don Comic says, Maranya, waving. <clears throat> I'm going to quote that old bumper sticker. Grass or cash, nobody rides for free. <laughs> <laughs> I think you forgot one, but this is a family show, so. Yeah. <laughs> And Ronnie says, fair enough, Mastodon Tarek, that I hear you, Froggy. No coffee for me or else I won't get any sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Taylor says they are still publishing Fangoria, but it's probably reprints like Mad, yeah. Mad Magazine. And Paolo's in the house. Paolo Costa, good morning, sir, or good afternoon there, I guess. Yes, good afternoon, good morning, uh, good evening, uh, whatever it is over there. Great to have you with us, sir. Thank you for joining us. And he says, by the powers of grace, go I'll live again, tremble you mighty in despair. <laughs> he says, either that or give me free whiskey. Works for me, he says. <laughs> oh, there you go. Shameless there plug in my workplace. <laughs> <laughs> and Maranya says, Paula, how are you and Battle Cat doing? No, oh, Battle Cat, I love it. Mastodon says, I was, a, I was a late bloomer to conventions, sadly. A small con in Altuma, Pennsylvania, called the Sci-Fi Valley Con in 2016. I met Fred Williamson there. Oh, cool. Nice. I remember Fred Williamson from those movies in the early 70s. Paolo says, who needs Battle Cat when you have Tila? <laughs> <laughs> Lady M says, point taken, Paolo, but Battle Cat comes in handy when you want to go to a drive-in movie. And Robert Harrison is uh, checking in here again. My first comic book convention was in July of 1966. Wow. At Hart House, the University of Toronto, they had comics, some sci-fi paperbacks, a few pulp magazines, and monster magazines. That's it. Wow. I like to admit at that one. Yep. Yeah. That sounds like a blast right there. Holy mackerel. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the one next Saturday. We'll see. Mike Taylor says, Hulk number two. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hulk number two is a good one to have stand sign, Doc. Well, it was that was probably the most important book to me uh, of, of my collection. Those those I've got five out of the first six Hulks, um, and I never ever thought I would own those. Uh, and Hulk being my guy for Marvel, uh, I was just they they are the gems of my collection as far as I'm concerned. So, thank you so much, Michael. And Geeky Puppet Show, is anyone besides Rod watching WrestleMania this weekend? 
<laughs> That's right. It's a big weekend for me. This is like, uh, you know, Super Bowl, World Series, uh, uh, hockey championships all wrapped up into one with WrestleMania weekend. So, yeah, I'm having a ball this weekend. Woohoo! I got my, I got my, my mentor right here. <laughs> Superstar Billy Graham, the man of the hour, the man with the power too sweet to be sour. <laughs> So, all right. Well, Maranya is she's put up the pause line, and that means we got to get to business here. And we're gonna have uh, our guest, Micah. He's got some comics he's gonna show share with us right now. What do you say, Micah? All right, sure will. Okay, we're gonna put you on spotlight, brother. Here you go. Okay. Well, we'll start off with some uh, brothers of the spear. Oh, nice. nice. Gold. Very key. nice. Yes. Yeah. Great cover. Yes. And uh, now I'm a funny animal guy. So from 1947, it's uh, Animal Comics. And uh, oh. Pogo, the alligator's Pogo, on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Hadn't seen him in a while. That's great. With uh, Albert, the alligator. <clears throat> and uh, to be very eclectic, here's uh, Micronaut. <laughs> there we go. It's good this, stuff. Nice. This was when I was a kid. This was top-notch reading. Um, here is a weird reprint. Uh, this is Police Trap number eighteen, front cover by Ross Andrew. Oh, I've and seen that they, one. that's cool. They really didn't have uh, permission to reprint this, and so it doesn't have page one because page one was from the inside cover of the original magazine. So it's an odd reprint. Uh, it's not not nothing really missing, but it's just they didn't get page one in there. That's so neat. The, I never, I've never seen that before. That is cool. Yeah, so it's the 1964. Uh, these guys were printing stuff they probably didn't have any business printing. So uh, yeah, I got a few of those. What was that company again? Was it Standard or Prize? Who was that? Super. Super. Yeah. Super. Yeah. Okay. Super Comics Seal of Quality. Super Comics. Yeah, I've seen a lot of those. Like the. Some of them I like, get like the Plastic Man reprints and Doll yeah. Man and stuff like that. Yeah. All right. There might cool be a few DC fans. So how about some uh, Joe Kubert? There might be a DC fan out there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, for the Marvel combat, we have uh, Combat Kelly. There we go. Very nice. Severin artwork. And uh, if you're an old classic guy like me, nothing like good Carl Barks with a Western theme. There we go. That looks like it's brand new, Micah. Yep, yep. Look at that. That is incredible condition. It is uh, one of the gems. Uh, yeah. Very it's cool. my it's my Hulk too. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Uh, this yeah. one not as not as good, but it's another Carl Barks. You see, it's from the. Uh, uh, that uh, pedigree, whoever that name is, Kent Hardy. <laughs> yeah, Kent Hardy. Everybody knows Kent Hardy. That's a pedigree. Uh, the story of this: there's actually zombies in this, and oh, cool. uh, yeah, you'll meet Bombie the zombie who mistakes Donald for a young Scrooge because he's been looking for Scrooge for a hundred years or so to get revenge. <laughs> uh, apparently, Scrooge looked like Donald. So here is the third issue of Donald Duck from Dell. Oh, Another man. nice one. Look at that. But it's it's yeah. really a four color. But uh, the uh, uh, basically Donald Duck broke away from four colors. So this is technically number three. So here's another four color uh, 308. Carl Barks cover. Wow. Very cool. And uh, it's going to be very eclectic. Here's the Hardy Boys. Can't believe I even know. Yes. That. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Love it. Uh, that's great. So One there's great one, theme songs. There's an all color photo, but then they got you know red, green, purple, blue, orange. You know. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to put together. I think there's what four issues of that. I think I'm trying to put together that run. There might be. This was number one. 
1970. So yeah, cool. very nice. Here's uh, Rima, the Jungle Girl. Oh yeah, one of my favorites. Mine is a uh, well loved condition. So hey, nothing Bye. wrong with well loved comics. Oh yeah. And uh, speaking of Jungle Girl, I have made another cover to Edgar Rice Burroughs' Jungle Girl. So there's the oh, all, cool, the whole oh, thing. Nice. And uh, just got back from the uh, poster publisher yesterday. So here it is on my book, Jungle Girl. Oh, so nice. this is from the 1930s. So, of course, Edgar Rice Burroughs did more than just Tarzan and John Carter. Right. Uh, it, see, it says The Land of Hidden Men. That was a decision I made because when it came out in paperback, there's the artwork for the paperback. Oh, wow. The uh, title changed to The Land of the Hidden Men because when it first appeared in the pulp magazines, it was called The Land of the Hidden Men. Then for the book, they said, you know, Tarzan was such a success. Let's put Jungle Girl as the title. And so what I've done is for the spine, I've decided to just call up by both. Um, and I figured it's mine. I can do whatever I want. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll probably show a little more of that uh, uh, Wednesday. I have a couple of more uh, reproduction pulps that I recently got. It's from like oh, nice. 1941. These are incredible. The yeah. I've seen you show a bunch of these on on your show. Yeah, and the paper quality is fabulous. So I can uh, I can read these and uh, not hurt them. And uh, when I read, I fall asleep in bed, and then the book just falls to the floor when I. <laughs> so I don't I don't hurt anything. So, and uh, I love that title, Fantastic Adventures. And so I'm trying oh, to yeah. get as many as I can. Those are nice. So incredible. Uh, the ads are a hoot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, a planet, planet stories. Uh, so the same company that made uh, this is Fiction House. They did Planet Comics. They also did Planet Stories at the same time. Do you like that? Nice. And I thought a cool startling stories would be neat. Because check nice. out these aliens. <laughs> wow. Cool beans. And, uh, I, you know, I, Shannon, we got to get outfits like that someday. Those, those... Oh, I know. Yeah, I've, uh, I've been thinking about wearing one of those next uh, music show I play. Next, yeah, your next gig, you know. <laughs> so uh, um, <laughs> I'll probably uh, stop right there. So uh, I'll be good to go next time. Well, Micah, while we got you on here, let's uh, let's hear the origin story. What what got you into, into comics and art and graphics and all this great stuff? Well, the uh, the newspaper uh, comics, really, and um, I was a big avid TV watcher, and uh, you get your first little paperback of Hulk or Spider Man, and that introduces you to the old Jack Kirby, Steve Ditko. But even before that, I was into Popeye, Donald Duck. Uh, all the all the cartoon funnies and i would try to practice drawing them and uh, you try Do donald duck's uh, duck bill is very difficult um, <laughs> it's not for not for the weak of heart but uh and i just i love the comic book medium and uh, i think we had the best cartoons back then tarzan oh we did yeah yeah um i was just thrilled with it so I wanted to be a comic artist, but uh, after a while I realized that's, that's not going to happen because <laughs> those guys are real good. But uh, I was uh, basically a Salieri. If you ever watched the movie Amadeus, you got Mozart and you got Salieri and Salieri yeah. wants to be like Mozart, but there's, that just comes so easy to Mozart. Um, so I, I could be just good enough to appreciate the, the great masters. And um, of course, Eric Breen will be in the chat saying, well, he doesn't appreciate Gil Kane, but that's another, <laughs> another story. <laughs> and he, did, he doesn't like the way I say master. So um, that's a little inside joke. <laughs> but I, I, I would draw. Uh, uh, I would get done in school with the homework real quick, turn it in so I could just sit back and draw. So I'm, yep. uh, and uh, me and the guys, we would draw. 
And uh, I, I miss one of my old childhood friends. His name is uh, Eric Moore. And uh, he would draw Viking ships. And oh, cool. he, he was fantastic with pencil. And uh, I was better at ink, uh, which I'll kind of show a little later that uh, I probably would have made a fair inker because I can go over somebody's stuff and and really do you know, my own spin on it. But uh, coming up with the ideas is the hardest. But uh, oh, yeah. no, I, mm. I love drawing. I love drawing and uh, I appreciate the art. And uh, the older I get, I appreciate the stories more. So I, I chose Graphic Man. My original channel was going to be, I would have two entities, Literature Lad and Graphic Man. And they, they were supposed to argue, you know, that stories better, like taste great, less filling. Um, <laughs> but that never really came about. So, uh, but uh, yeah, that is the, you know, the, the worst origin story. But uh, <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> I'm watching, I'm watching your viewers, the numbers going down immediately. But, uh, <laughs> Not at all. No, no. Oh. All right. Well, we'll bring everybody back in here. That's great oh, stuff. No? Yeah. I love hearing that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it, there's a there's a lot of the. Uh, I think we can find a, a lot of your origin in each of our origins. Uh, that type of style, loving the drawing and stuff like that. Uh, you know, some people like my partner here has a, has a a very nice talent for it, <laughs> and some of us like me uh, didn't. <laughs> Well, that's the thing, you know, the, the yeah. talent, for me anyway, the talent part, it's sort of like the music thing, you know, it's like, oh, once you start thinking you're all that, there's some 10-year-old kid sitting on yeah. the back porch yeah, that will just blow you away playing, you know, I'm like, yeah, so me, I always look at, when I get a chance to draw, I was like, you know, constantly learning, trying, you know, kind of get better, but, you know, we, we, we've got professionals in the chat a lot of time, we've got Rob in here, Rob, yeah, and he's just, you know, what can you say, I mean, the guy's just great. Yeah, and, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I I still love it when I get time. You know, it's just the, it's a hard uh, thing to balance with the music and the work and the family and you know and all that kind of stuff. But I got vacation days coming up starting next month, so hey, <laughs> there we go. Nothing wrong with that. Well, all right, let's see what's going on with the peanut gallery. Marania, she got up the line for us, so I wouldn't lose my place as always. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, Marania. And let's see what's going on. Uh, let's see. My, Meyer Greenblatt. Uh, thank you for joining us, Meyer. Great to have you with us, sir. Good morning, Meyer. He says, Caitlin Clark for three. Just trying to add a little excitement. <laughs> yeah, women's NCAA. That, yeah, that's, uh, that's good stuff. <laughs> and Moran, you're saying good morning to you, Meyer. And the Geeky Puppet Show saying, I'm slowly crashing. I'm going to grab some Z's. So I'm wide awake to watch night one of WrestleMania. Well, uh, you, you, you got to have priorities. So, I mean, you, you got to go nap to be ready for that night one. Don't forget NXT this afternoon. Their yeah. pay-per-view is this afternoon. So Don't come on now. <laughs> Geeky Puppet Show is saying also, oh, and to read as well. Oh, yeah, it's an afterthought, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you get a chance check out the geeky puppet show uh they start at 8 15 uh there's usually two readings uh 8 15 and 9 30 on friday saturday and sunday now i they think they might have a couple others and i can never remember from week to week my memory is horrible but marania i'm sure or eric breen himself will uh fill us in as to what the schedule is and what they're reading tonight. And Marani says, get some good rest, Froggy, and I'll see you later today. There we go. Hey, and speaking of Rob Brown, here he is now. Hey, Rob. How you doing, buddy? Good morning, Rob. Great to have you with us, sir. He says, Thanks. good morning, my friends. If you get a chance to check out Rob Brown on uh, Facebook, He's always posting some of his great artwork and, and other great pictures and everything. But, boy, you get a chance to see his artwork. Phenomenal. Great stuff. Oh, yeah. So definitely check him out. 
Then yeah, Paul West says, don't forget tonight is WrestleMania 40, and it starts at <laughs> 7 next day, and delivers, deliver starts at noon. <laughs> That's it, man. It's my weekend. It's my Super Bowl weekend right here, baby. Mariah says, good morning to you as well, Rob. And Michael Tell says, graphic, man, will you be doing an unboxing? Probably not for that, but uh, yeah. It's only a book. It's only a magazine. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're going to be cool magazines. Master Don Comics says, cons have become an addiction like tattoos. I've been to 16 cons since then. The Heroes Con becoming number 17 in June. Wow. Holy mackerel. I wish there was that many around back in the day for me to go to, but there weren't a whole lot around up here. And Rob Brown says, love those okay. Go Keep Barbarian comics. Nice, Micah. Yeah. Ha ha. Oh, cool. Higgy Pop says, hey, Mike, I have the same police trap book. He's got that same book he showed. That's I've never seen that before. So And now there's two people that I know that have one. <laughs> and Jared Osborne's in the house. Welcome, hey. sir. Hey, Jared. Great to have you with us, sir. And he says, shouldn't graphic men be naked and cursing a lot? Or am I using the wrong definition of graphic? <laughs> he knows me better. He knows me better than that. So. Oh, my God. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Great to have you with us, Jared. Thanks for spending part of your Saturday with us, brother. Mike Taylor says, police traps, yep. Silver Age reprint. There we go. Thank you, Michael. Cooper. And he says, Cubert lives. Yes, yeah, he certainly yeah. does. Yeah, yeah. Marania says, oh, my, my innocent eyes, Jared. Stop laughing at me, peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> and Hippie says, I love those Dells. Yes, yes, yes. Mike Taylor says, "If you're going to, if you're going to go buy uh, reprints, silver and bronze are the best ones because they are not too far from the originals." Yeah, I would agree with that. Yes, sir, e. Michael. I just bought a uh, replica. I'll probably show it in the first group uh, when I show mine uh, of uh, Detectives Comics, uh, Neil Adams issue. I can't remember the number, but uh, I'll show that one. <clears throat> And Marani says, Bombi the Zombie is one of those problematic stories, which we read on the Geeky Puppet Show recently, along with others in the storyline. Yeah. Yeah, I'd never heard of that before. The Bombi the Zombie. I like that, though. Bombi the Zombie. Mastodon Comics says, those pulp repro repros are amazing, Micah. They certainly are. And Michael says, fantastic Jungle Girl wraparound cover. Great job on those covers. Sir, how long how long does it take you, Micah, to do like one of those uh, book covers? Well, uh, on average, uh, uh, first, you know, if I had the hardback, uh, I then start looking for the best images I can find on the internet, and then I'll find an image, but it'll have a few creases. I'll have to smooth those out and digitize and and make it look as you know crisp and clean as possible. Maybe I have to pump up the reds because maybe it's a faded or something and then i'll decide well what should i make the spine i may grab an image over here from the cover uh I'll, or i'll lift the title and then rearrange the title uh so that's about two days off and on of looking at of course i do other things um so all together about six hours of design and then you uh get all three images together and uh, the guy I take it to, uh, he likes to have all three, the front spine and the back. Of course, I have flaps, so five images. And he likes to piece those together. And then if he has to stretch it out by measuring the book. So uh, the one I'll be doing next week is The God of Mars. It's the John Carter of Mars, you know, so. Nice. Very plain. So it's just an old book. But uh, I, I'm i going to put a spiffy new cover on that. And uh, Very so cool. you, you have to print out a few and then you have to wrap it around and say does that fit or is it too tall or too short and do it over again a few times and uh and then you finally got a book and all the publishers are different size so some of them are thicker some of them are taller and they'll they'll produce i've got multiple copies of each book and i can't just cheat and do one cover and then have the guy print out a few extras 
no, we got to resize it for the Ooh. yeah. So each one is a specialty. So I was gonna say it's pretty intricate for each one. It's a, they're 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 they are their own unique thing. You can't like right. you say just make two or three copies. So because I make my print my print guy work at at stretching it and you know all that, so it's a ten dollar process for. If you get the original that has a pretty good cover, you you be spending 150 bucks. So it's quite economical, and I have a one of a kind. So oh, yeah, great. very um, cool. I knew there was a lot that went into it. I just I really yeah. didn't know the process, so that, that's great. Yeah, that is really cool because they are fantastic, man. You got the uh, you got some skills there, as they say. <laughs> they're, not, they're not marketable. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've I've got a you know I was. Uh, Michael was kind enough to gift me some of those posters that he made. Oh, yeah, and, uh, yeah. I'm sure you've seen them too. I, yeah. That's oh, myself, yeah. And I got a couple yeah. hanging on my wall here in the hallway. I think oh, it was good. like the, the Frankenstein monster and Dracula with Bella Lugosi. Yep. And, yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I got that one hanging in my hallway. So that was pretty cool stuff, actually. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And that was the easiest one to make. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's great. See. You know. We got lead paint. He says, Micah, do you put your own mark on those reimagined covers you're creating? I can imagine someone stumbling on your collection in a hundred years and not having a clue where they came from. Yeah, on the dust jacket and a little fine print, I say uh, uh, dust dust jacket redesigned by Micah Colston. And I'll even put a little information. Hey, I got this image from this magazine, this image, you know, I, oh, that's I, make, it infor I make it informative, you know. No one's ever going to look at them and find them, but if they do, they're there. So. Very Good cool. Stuff. All right. Yeah. And Robert Harrison says, I think Gulliver Mars was up four years before John Carter of Mars. I believe I might be wrong. Uh, sure yeah. about and Gulliver was printed in Creatures on the Loose. Um, yeah. I don't recall how good in that adaptation it was. I'll have to look at it again. Yeah, I've got those. It's been a while since I've read them, too, so I'm, I'm not sure. Mm, very cool. Triple C, Cheap Comic Collector, says, Love those duck books. Sheriff of Bullet Valley is one yeah. of my favorites. Yeah. I have a reprint signed by Carl Barks. Oh, nice. He, he gets shot on the bottom of the page. You think he's dead, but it's that, that 10 stars saved Donald's life. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty violent. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh mackerel. Donald being shot. What? Yeah. And Maranya says I used to draw a lot in class in sixth grade from uh, how to drawing book. As long as I kept up with taking notes, my teachers let me do it. Yeah. <laughs> I used to do the same thing. I would try to get whatever work, classroom work done as fast as possible. And then I was either drawing or if we were lucky enough to have construction paper, I would be making a Batman utility belt out of construction yeah. paper. Wow. <laughs> I used to do, I, I, I wish I had a dime for every Batman utility construction paper belt I built because that was awesome. Good deal. Eric Breen says, Micah is a true governor of his craft. <laughs> he certainly is. It's gonna confuse everybody. <laughs> and Higgy's saying, fabulous artwork, Micah. Thank you. Absolutely. Mike Taylor says, Graphic Man, nice books, especially those pulp reprints. Every uh, very cool backstory. Growing up, I used to see through tracing paper and uh, draw over books. Very cool. Oh, yeah. I used to use a lot of tracing paper. Yeah. I heard a, uh, I watched a, a Neil Adams interview once, and uh, I guess some kid came up to him at a con. And ask him, so how, what's the best way to get to draw like you're drawing? Or, you know, how do you, how did you get said what he would uh, tell people to do is like find a, of course, this was back before internet, I guess, was, was find a, a, the best book you could find of black and white photographs of people and houses and car, whatever else, you know, you would need that would be in a comic book and take tracing paper and just keep tracing those. That way your hand and your eye would get used to uh, what form and how, you know, and be correct far as that's oh, what he was wow. saying so i said yeah i thought that was great and said you know and i've and on some of the joe kubert videos i've got with my art courses he says the same thing he says you know sometimes you get uh, told well uh, copying is wrong tracing is wrong I said no that's wrong 
said copying and tracing is how you learn how to make the forms, you know, yeah. how you learn yeah. how to draw. Yeah. Muscle so, memory, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's cool. Can't go wrong getting, uh, you know, tips from uh, Kubert and Adams. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see what else is going on here. We've got, uh, let's, uh, did I read this one? Yes. Okay. Yeah, got there one. you go. Hey. There's Triple P. Plants printed periodicals. Welcome, sir. Hey, Triple P. Great to have you with us, sir. And he's like, greetings and salutations, Rod, Shannon, Graphic Man, and the rest of the peanut gallery. Just popping in to say hi. I'm out digging for books today. Have a great Saturday and Eclipse Day Monday. Thank you, sir. Thanks, you as yeah. well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, Triple P, look forward to hopefully seeing you next Saturday uh, at the convention. So hope to see you there, brother. Maranya says, hey there, Triple P, be careful out there. And she also says the schedule usually is 8.15 and 9.30 p.m. EST Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays, Mondays also at 10 p.m. EST. There we go. Thank you very much, <laughs> Lady M. Appreciate that, giving the update for the Geeky Puppet Show. So definitely check them out. And if you're feeling adventurous, join them. It's a lot of fun. You can have a lot of fun. So... Paul S. says, Doc, how can you have a Captain Marvel above Shazam, the real Captain Marvel? That is wrong on so many levels. Well, you know what? We're going to take care of that right now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, we'll Paul, I'm with you. We'll, we'll take care of that right now. We'll go this way. We'll put them in order. Because we can't have our audience feeling uncomfortable here. So That's the uh, definition of picking order. That's it. There you go. And we got uh, Adam Ant. He's going to hold him right. He'll, he'll hold Captain Matt Marvel uh, by Marvel. Captain Marvel. He'll hold him right in place. Shazam's on top now, brother. There we go. <laughs> we aim to please here. Thanks, Paul. And Miranda says tonight is Batman and the Outsiders 8 and 9, 8, 15 and 9 p.m. EST, respectively. Thank you for that info, Lady M. Oh, cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love Batman and the Outsiders, that, that first series that they did. I loved it. Jim Apparel. Yeah, baby. Eric K says, I agree, Paul S. Shazam is what the real Captain Marvel said to transform into the world's mightiest mortal. Irks me. Okay, well, I'm, I'm taking care of it. I'm taking care of it. It's okay. Uh, irks me too, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael Jones says, growing up, I would make a Gigantor remote control box from cardboard. Okay. <laughs> awesome. That's great. Dr. Von Chilla is in the house. Hey, John. Hey, John. Good to see you. He says, howdy, y'all. I forgot it was Saturday. <laughs> Now, see, I've had this conversation with my folks. They're both retired, too. You yeah. know, I said, oh, what is it? Is it today Friday or Saturday? I was, like, I was like, I hate that. I said, what is it like to not have to worry about what day it is? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there now. I'm, I'm, I'm envious. Getting there. Yeah. I'm getting there that I'm forgetting which day is what because you don't have the weekend to separate your work days. So you do. They just blend together. Yeah, so. but as long as there's wrestling, you'll know what day it is. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> it is. Absolutely, brother. Uh, Mike Taylor says, hello to Dr. Von Chilla. And Hippie saying, hey, you, John. Eric K. also says, hi to John. Great to see you, he says. And Dr. V saying, howdy, Michael. Howdy, Tom. And Marania says, good morning to you, John. How is Pauline doing after her visit to the vet? That's right. That's where we left off with the cliffhanger last week. She was going to go to the vet. And Hippie's Collectibles, what's it like, Shannon? It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have a retort for that time. But like I say, this is a family show. <laughs> Maybe in a phone call or a comment on your video. We'll see. There you go. There you go. Dr. Von Chilla says, hi, 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 my little droogies. <laughs> and Paddle said, John, my life goal is to be like you and forget what day of the week it is. There, there we are. Go. Says it all. That'd be nice. Yep, nothing wrong with that. Mike Taylor says, yeah, time is going so fast, I lose track of the days as well. Absolutely. I, I, I'm slowly figuring out that how that goes. And Hippie's laughing at that. 
There we go. And that Thank catches you. us up with this round of the, the peanut gallery. So uh, you got some books you want to share, Shannon? Yeah, I got some books. Uh, All right. And since uh, Dr. Von Chill is in the house, I haven't got a chance to do a, a video on it yet. But since he's on here, I want to do something uh honor him where he uh, he sent me a awesome AOK. -okay. Of course, you know about uh, him doing all those great posters, right? Yes, yes. On the cover, so he was uh, kind enough to send me one, and I didn't want to show it because I didn't really have a frame to put it in. So I just went and got a, you know, like a generic frame just so I could hang it up for now until I get a better frame. I think uh, I see uh, something back there. I yeah, think I yeah. You, uh, and, <laughs> and you might know this. <laughs> oh, oh, that is cool. That is super cool right there. 24 by 36, my favorite comic book of all time, Commando 18. At that. In full and real living in huge color. So, yeah. This that is, is uh, awesome. It was just a great gift. And uh, thank you again, John, for that. Can and you imagine I, having a. Oh, I, hey, and just, just so you know, I took down a Planet of the Eggs poster so I could put this up. Ooh. So right in high cotton, brother. There you go. <laughs> Just imagine having a room where you could have a bunch of wall space to put a ton of those up. That would be so cool. Yeah, that would be. Okay, you got a few comments here. I uh, was talking earlier to Mike and uh, Rod, some Superboy-related stuff. And I don't know if anybody's seen these, but for fans of Legion of Superheroes, uh, I always thought this was cool. There was an index put out. I guess, it, what year was it here? It was 1986. And this was put up by a company called ICG, Independent Comics Group, but I think it was the same company that was eventually, or at that time, was the Eclipse, Com Eclipse Comics. I hmm. uh, might be wrong on that. Somebody uh, knows the real story or let me know. But uh, this is an index for the Legion of Superheroes. Oh, oh yes, wow. ICG. Yeah. And this is a, a Kurt Swan cover from 1986, so very cool. Love Kurt Swan on the Legion. Yeah, awesome. Uh, but, you know, it's uh, just kind of going through and introducing characters and their backgrounds. Uh, and then uh, showing, like, some of the first appearances. Uh, of course, everybody knows this. Yeah. And yeah. I think it goes chronologically as far as uh, the appearances and sort of like uh, all the other uh, indexes that ICG put out. So just uh, great stuff. If you're a Legion fan, uh, here's number two with another great Kurt Swan cover. Oh, wow. Yeah. This will make a great poster, huh, Micah? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And did I miss one? I might have. Yeah, here's... Here's number three. This is a uh, this is a Jim Mooney cover. Oh, nice, nice, so very nice. cool. Yeah. Number four, another Jim Mooney cover. <laughs> I always like the characters that end up getting killed. I, you know, I was always a Feral Ed fan and Kimberly yeah. King and Invisible Kid. Yeah. You know, so all the ones that were going to die, those are the ones I latched onto for some reason. And here's number five. This is, uh, I think this is a Richard Howe cover. You guys remember him? Mm. And got a great ad on the back. <laughs> the Heat wow. with uh, yeah. it was Airboy. Is that who that is? Yeah. 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 Airboy. The Heat. All right. And we have a couple copies of uh, Superboy Spectacular. Number one from 1980. I think this is one of DC's first forays into direct market, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, That's neat. Great Superboy reprints. Is that a square bound? No, it's just a. Oh, okay. It's, but yeah, yeah. still a cool book. Got a Ross Andrew and Dick Giordano cover. Very uh, cool. Got some great reprints in it. And some more Legion stuff. Secrets of the Legion of Superheroes. If anybody remembers this one. Oh, yeah. I got that. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, I just uh, still am a huge Legion fan, but, they, you know, they haven't been around much uh, lately. Between them and the Justice League, they're just, they've just kind of screwed that whole deal up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But here is number two. There's Dick Giordano cover. Excellent. 
Excellent. And uh, last issue is number three, another cover by Giordano. So if you're a Legion fan, this is good stuff. And in honor of our good friend, uh, Graphic Man, pulled out uh, some Gold Key and some Dell here. Uh, here we have the girl from Uncle. Anybody remember that show? Mm. Oh, yeah. Very briefly. Definitely Powers. Yeah. It's number one. Very cool. Uh, here we have uh, some Grimm's Ghost Stories, number seven. Nice. And some more Grimm's. This is number 13. Oh, great. But, uh, George Wilson covers and of course, you know, I, I've talked about the book that's coming out on George Wilson, I think, two more months, and I will be receiving that book in the mail. Cool beans. And here we have Peanuts. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. yeah. So combining two of my all-time favorite things in one package, Peanuts and comic books. And here we have a copy of UFO in Outer Space. Oh, so nice. Beautiful cover. Yeah. Twilight Zone, not sure of the number here. Excellent. That's another one of the things on the list. Go through and write on the back of the boards what number all these go keys and dells are. Yep. And, and early Charlton's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here we have. Space Family Robinson, number three from 1963. Oh, neat. Wow. Great. And you always got the bonus, so you could rip the back cover off and yep. use it a poster. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think I'll do that. But another good uh, idea. And this, I think, was actually one of my first Go Key comics I ever owned. This is Space Family Robinson, Lost in Space, number 44 from 1975. Excellent. Man, Another great cool. cover. Yeah, it's it's well loved. And uh I guess Ellen enjoyed this book as well. It's from that pedigree. Yeah, it's from the Ellen pedigree. <laughs> and here you got some uh, personality posters. Who remembers these? Oh yes. <laughs> and we got a Star Trek. Not sure about the number, but hey, it looks good. So we'll go with it. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Oh, very cool. Yeah. And here's another one. Don't know the number, but I'm sure many of you do. Just great. Very nice. And uh, one of my favorite books from the Go Key line, the uh, first issue of Fat Albert. Oh, my. The Cosby yeah. Kids. Hey, hey, hey. Rudy, you just like an empty school. NC. No, no class. class. <laughs> and here's uh, probably my favorite cover of uh, this title, Cult Files of Dr. Spectre, number four. Wow. Yeah, that's that's another, that's another poster-worthy one. Mm. Yeah. Yep. And number one, Trag and the Sky Gods. Trag. Yeah. Like him. Nine issue. Nine issues, exactly. And we have Dr. Solar Man of the Atom, number 20. Wonderful. Yeah, that's a good series. I, I'm trying to put together I that. This, yeah. Yeah. I could just look at the cover for like an hour, you know. Cool. I can't wait to get that book on George Wilson. All right, guys, that's uh, all I got for right now. We'll give everybody else some time. All righty here. Let's bring everybody back in. Well, here we go. All righty. And we got Maranya right on the ball with the pause line. There we go. All right. All right. Eric K says that is an awesome AOK -okay from John Shannon. Command the 18 is a great cover. Hey, I'm not going to argue with you on either <laughs> point. <laughs> it just, it's just so cool that, I mean, seeing them in a huge. Uh, on a huge poster like that, I don't know. It just to me, it just adds something to it. Even though you've seen the cover a million times, just having it so huge, it's cool. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been I've been staring every time I come in this room. I'm like, man, that is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it is, man. man. 
Tampa Samar says that's really the size the comic should be. <laughs> we'll just like then I wouldn't need these. Right. <laughs> Dr. Von Chills, wow, that looks great. And taking down a Planet of the Apes poster? Yes. Hey, like I said, you know. Priorities. And Michael Chills says, Dr. Von Chills is working on one of my favorite covers, Detective Comics 29, the second cover appearance of Batman. Awesome. Ooh, yeah, very cool. And Hickey says, Shannon, someday we'll be retired, then we can begin forgetting everything, too. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so hey. true. I'm just so, watching the days go by, you know. That's it. And Hippie sends the Higgy here. <laughs> uh, Eric Case says, I will be able to retire about five years after I die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wish I could say I thought of that, but I saw it recently. It probably does describe my eventual retirement, though. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> and Hippie says, I'm way ahead of you on forgetting things. I just can't remember what I forgot. <laughs> It's about I yeah. Do. When I think about the past, it just brings back so many memories. There you go. <laughs> hey, QNS is in the house. Welcome, sir. Hey, QNS. Thanks for joining us this morning. And he's saying hi. Oh, Micah, Sunday Funnies was my start. Also, maybe someday you'll give Literature Lad his first appearance. Yeah, I was going to mention that. Oh, he he's he's appeared uh, early on. Early on, he would show up and argue with me. So it's it's oh, it's cool. it's my voice speeded up a little. So Very is that cool. is that still on YouTube? Oh yeah, the first uh, like five episodes of Graphic Man. So oh, cool. I'm gonna go back and check it out. Mm. And Michael Taylor says, "Lost in Space Virgin cover." <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. And Myers says, "If you're not careful, you might just learn something." Yep, absolutely. And Moran just saying, hey there, QNS. And Cheap Comic Collector. Wow, so many beautiful comics. Absolutely. And he's like, oh, I want that fat Albert. I'm trying to complete that series. There's about 20 something issues. Yep. Yeah. Well, there you go. And Moran just says, my train forgetter is so well trained, I forgot how to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> And Michael says, Shannon, nice books, especially those gold keys. Gotta love the gold keys. Fantastic AOK -okay from Dr. V. Agreed, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that looks like it catches us up with this round of the... Whoop, we got another one. Hold on. Just just in. Okay. John is chiming in again. I'm so <laughs> retired that my watch died about six years ago, and I never bothered to replace it. I still wear it, but it's always 5 o'clock. I'm not kidding. Well, twice, twice a day. Well, that's that's pretty handy, you know. It's always five o'clock. That's it. It's it's right twice a day. All right, we got Maranya setting up the pause line, so we're ready to go. Right, once again, let's see. What do I want to show here? I got some halts. I got some new stuff. I got the Doom Patrol. Let's see. I'll go with some of the new stuff because I got some new stuff and I got some old stuff. Uh, right from the same thing. So we'll we'll go with that for right now. There we go. All right. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go through the newest stuff that I've, I picked out. Uh, for those of you who uh, uh, can't find a whole lot uh, to read in the modern comics, here is something I definitely recommend. Um, it's called The Goon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot of fun, a lot of fun, uh, really good storytelling. It's kind of like the 1940s or 30s uh, meets a, a horror type, type of thing. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, uh, for folks like us, uh, uh, we, we kind of gravitate towards this kind of stuff. So if you get a chance, anything, the, the goon, definitely pick it up. This is They put them out so rarely. Uh, it's not like a regular schedule, I don't think, that they put them out on. So when I see one, I grab it as quick as I can. So definitely check out The Goon. We got The World's Finest, number 25. And I think that's William Shatner. I haven't read it yet. But that sure does look like William Shatner. Yeah, it probably is. Guy can't keep his nose out of anything, can he? <laughs> <laughs> And then I picked up a couple of Hulks. Here's Hulk number 10 of the latest series. Cool. And Hulk number 5 of the latest series, which I needed to get. How is that, Rod? Is that, is that as good as the Mortal Hulk series? or? 
Um, it's okay. Uh, it, they're slowly getting back to uh, the the Savage Hulk, I think, and uh, that's that's what I like. I, I like the Savage Hulk. That's what I grew up uh, reading. Um, I was never a fan of Professor Hulk, uh, you know, type of thing. Um, so yeah, I, I'm I'm starting to to really really gravitate to it more. Uh, so that's why I wanted to pick up some of the the back issues there. So yeah, I, I, if you're a Hulk fan, I think you'd like it. Yeah. Okay. Good deal. And I know you're a fan of this. Oh yeah, yeah. This is it, man. So I picked up the uh, number four. Anything JSA related. And I know you're a fan of these characters too, from Archie Comics. Is the oh, latest yeah. the new Jaguar? Does oh, that just come out? Yep. Okay. Cool. Uh, slight costume change, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the, um, they did do a, a female. Uh, who was it? DC, right? When DC had the Impact. Um, yeah. Imprint. Yeah, they did a yeah they did a female version of her too back in the day. Yeah. Yep. And I think this might be that I I, I play on that because it looks very similar to that. And of course, they'll explain it. It looks like inside here. So I haven't had a chance to read any of these because I just picked them up. Uh, what was it day before yesterday? <clears throat> and I've spent all the rest of my time shoveling snow. <laughs> <laughs> here we go with Alan Scott, Green Lantern. That's a great cover. And then uh, I picked up, tried to catch up on the Doom Patrol. They had like a seven issue miniseries. So I tried to catch up on those. So I bought the the last four issues of that. Where we got to get them in order here. Here we go. It's number four. About having a bad hair day. <laughs> and here's number five. And number six. That's a cool cover. And number seven. So is now it, uh, is it Chris Burnham doing the art on that? Uh, let's see here. It looks like it says Culver Burnham and Reber. Reber. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. yeah his never... art always kind of remind me a lot of uh, Frank Quitely. Just that of kind who? of style. Frank Quitely. He did oh, uh, okay. Incorporated and uh, I mean, Justice League Earth too. Yeah. Look yeah. at that. That that looks pretty cool to me. Yeah, I like that art. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I'm really anxious to read that because I love, love, love the Doom Patrol. All right, now I've got. Uh, let's see. I need to open this one up because I don't know what number this is. And it's driving me crazy. So I picked up this right here. I rescued this. <laughs> it's a uh, black uh, Blackhawks. Um, five bucks. Five bucks. The story is intact. It's a little beat up, but I wanted to know what issue. It's 147. So this is Blackhawks 147 all the way from 1960. Nice. So. Yeah, it looks like a couple of the rescues I got from uh, my comic shop a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Nothing wrong with, with these babies, you know. I love this. Oh, it's got that smell to it. <laughs> got that smell to it, man. Look, look at this. How sad. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Rip Hunter. Yeah. You don't see too many Rip Hunter house ads. Yeah, the, the house ads and the smell, you know, it's a good comic book. Yes, sir, Bob. 147. Love it. I got to move this because it'll mess up my, my microphone. Or I mean, my uh, camera. All right. Then I, I dove into a bunch of the back issues. Uh, I had to, this is a, uh, an upgrade of Avengers 139. Mine had, has like a piece right here all miss, missing because it was well loved. Yeah. So now I've got a, a, a much better copy. Yeah. Then I picked up some Jonah Hex. To, I'm still working, working as I go to pick up these Jonah Hexes. Uh, here's number 78. Oh, yeah. That's the first series, all right? Yes. Yeah. Here's number 82. Uh, 
nice. Yeah, that was that was a that was, I don't know how if it's hard to complete, but I mean, there's a lot of there's like 92 issues in that run, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah there's like there's quite several. a few. Yeah. Um, then I picked up a weird Western Tales number 55 with Scalp Hunter. There you go. It's a great book. I have that little run. Yeah, I'm trying to complete that one as well. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, here's another weird Western wow. tale, number 34, with Jonah Hex. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think Higgy gifted me a first uh, scalp hunter appearance. Yeah, number 39, was it? Yeah, yeah. 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 The gun barrel's all wet. I don't know if that's a good thing right there. <laughs> Uh, let's see. And I had, uh, let's see, <clears throat> Blackhawk before. This is from Blackhawk from 1984. Uh, this is number 272, one of their revivals. Wow. That's a nice cover. Yeah. So pretty cool looking cover there. And I picked up, a, is another series that I'm trying to fill in, and I'm like, why haven't I seen this before? Well, it's because it's uh, like one of those editions that they did for um, Blackest Night, DC did for Blackest Night. Yeah. And it's Starman 81. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I keep finding these Black Knight issues. I keep thinking, okay, that's got to be the last one. I got to have them all. Oh, no, there, there's a ton of those, man. Yeah, I, I picked that one up probably a couple years ago myself. And it's like it's never ending. <laughs> oh, let's see. What else did I pick up here? Uh, you'll recognize these. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The Logan's Run, number yeah, one. One of my, one of my favorite uh, sci fi movies. And I thought got that a was. Mini movie, movie poster in the hall, got the series. Got the movie, yeah. got the TV show. <laughs> that was the best cover of the whole run, too. It was, yeah. George Perez. And here's number two. Picked up these together. So, and then, let's see. I picked up this one right here, uh, which is one I've been after for a while. The Demon, number four. Brilliant orange and red cover. Man. Just the character I love. Yeah. Yeah, that Kirby guy, he just might make it. Yeah, he's got a future. And then the the last uh, the last of the old ones that I bought, uh, as I was walking out, I always look at the wall. They got a wall, you know, behind the register with all the, the more expensive books and whatnot. And I'm walking down and I'm like, hey. That one there is that that that's on sale, and they said yes, and I said not anymore because that's coming home with me, and uh, and it's unexpected number. Can I see that sixty six? And it's see sale for sale. There we go. <laughs> but space oh, no. a space ranger story for ten bucks. Yeah, oh, that's wow. coming home with me. Yeah, that's nice. So, Great alien. Yeah, yeah, I love that's what's it. cool about the old unexpected and house mystery and that kind of stuff was a, a lot of sci-fi stuff in it. Yeah, yep. So, so I picked that one up. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then I picked up this facsimile. This is the one I was telling you about. It's uh, Detective Comics four eleven. Oh yeah, first uh, Talia, right? Yeah, yeah. I picked up the original a couple of years ago. So I think oh, I I don't believe I have the original. I says so I'll pick up the the Neil Adams replica. So cool beans. All righty, that's the first group. Now yeah, let's see if we can catch up. What's going on here with the peanut gallery? Where did I lose? There, do, do, do. there we go. All right. Let's bring us all back together once again. And Maranya, thank you once again for providing that line. It keeps me in line. There we go. Fireball Comics says, I was forced to retire because of a deteriorating back. Now I'm screwed back together. 
uh, frequently lose track of what day it is and watching old guys shows. Comments. <laughs> oh man. I hate to hear that about your back. I, that back problems are no fun. No, they are not. And believe me, my back is letting me know they're no fun. Just two days of snow shoveling. <laughs> In case you, nobody could tell, I hate snow shoveling. <laughs> Marania says, John, what's the Pauline report? Give that sassy lassie some treats and pets from me, please. From all of us. And Marania also says, yikes, fireball. Glad you hang out with all of us. Absolutely. Glad we're there. Hippies Collectible says, The Goon. Awesome book. Yes, sirree. I really, really. I, th that's one of those ones, and you don't ever hear hear about it in any of the, you know, the comic book headlines or or a lot of the comic book shows, with the exception of Howler Mouse, because uh, he's the one who turned me on to The Goon, and he also turned me on to Astro City, another great series, if you can uh, ever get the chance to find those issues. But The Goon is just just a fun, fun, delightful read. Michael Taylor says, yes, I've heard good things about the goon. Yes, sir. Rebub. Master Don says the goon is fantastic. And Eric Powell deserves a lot more credit than he gets for the material he creates. And I agree with that. Yeah, absolutely. Lady M says, yes, that is Shatner on the cover of that justice league. Uh, the <laughs> uh, world's finest, right? Yeah. World's finest. I think it was 25. Cool beans. Thank you for that, Maranya. Paulo Costa says, Denny Crane, undefeated in courtroom battle. Rumor is used to captain a spaceship. <laughs> Monkey dokey. Michael Taylor says, I like how Batman and Superman are drawn on that modern world's finest cover. Where is it? Because I wanted to see that. Denny Crane, that was the character Shatner played on the Boston Legal, right? Well, I'm sorry? I think Denny Crane was the character Shatner played on the Boston Legal. Was that the name of the show? Was it? I, I never watched Boston Legal, so I couldn't tell you. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah there you go. Later, I think. Yeah. yeah, they are drawing cool. Cool beats, cool beats. All righty. And Lady M says, I prefer Shatner as Denny Crane to his... Trek or other series work, except his guest appearance on class on a classic Columbo. <laughs> I didn't think anybody watched Columbo other than me. Oh yeah. Follow Costa says, what about his perm rug in TJ Hooger? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, he did have that going. Didn't his he? his best episode is that Twilight Zone on the plane. That was just oh yeah, yeah. Really. Well, you know what? I got to admit, I, I like that episode, right? Nightmare at whatever, 23,000 feet yeah. or 33,000 feet. But he did this other one where he goes into a little yep. diner. The Nick and, of Time. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Nick of Time. I love that episode. I really, really think that's so cool. Mm. And they came out with those little machines. Yeah. Yeah. But they just were too expensive for my wallet. Uh, otherwise, I'd have had one, man, because I really love that's one of my favorite episodes. Yeah. So, Michael Michael Taylor says, "Very cool, Sandman number four. Yeah, that's a really good series. Uh, now, right now, going on with uh, from DC. Uh, Marania says, "Not a fan of T.J. Hooker myself." Uh, there you go. <laughs> Paul Acosta says, "William Shatner's cover of Common People is the best cover song in the history of cover songs." I, I've never heard it. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Sounds like I'm not missing anything. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Taylor says, cool, Alan Scott, Green Lantern. I'm anxious to read that story, see where it's going. I've heard good things about that story, how it's picking up in the action aspect. Michael Taylor says, Black Hawk, remainder copy. Yeah. Oh, the uh, the one with the, the, yes, 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 with the logo cut off. Eric K says, Jonah Hex and Weird Western Tales were books I never gave a second look to as a kid. That's right. Now I cannot get enough of both of them. <laughs> That's good That's stuff. Right. Yep. yep, I'm I'm with you. Hickey Pop says, Scalp Hunter, great series. Yes, sir, Rebub. Michael Taylor says, Cool Jonah Hex flying through the window. They did some really good covers on Jonah Hex, man. Yep. Yeah. They really did. 
Meyer Greenblatt says, no matter what anyone says, I'm holding on to my slab 9.8 Tech Wars number one. <laughs> Doggone it. I don't blame you, Maya. Uh, you do you, brother. They'll have to pry that out of his cold, dead hands. There you yeah. go. Don't give up. Don't let him take I'm it. I'm not even going to try. I won't touch that. <laughs> Tempest from Mars says, there's a police officer in TJ Hooker called Jim Corrigan. I wonder if someone who worked on the series was a DC fan. Oh, wow. Did not know that. I didn't either. That's pretty interesting. Thank you for that tidbit. Uh, Michael Taylor says, very cool Black Hawk, Black Hawk Hitler cover. That's not easy to say. <laughs> and Higgy Pop says, Rod, I just did a video on Robinson Starman. Oh, see, that, that's probably yeah, another one yeah. I've got to catch up on. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today is catching up on stuff. Mm, absolutely, man. Mastodon Comic says, Roger, blasted. Uh, blasted. Blackest Night was a huge <laughs> event. Uh, AFA, reading the story, the best bet is to pick up the trades. So many tie-ins for that one. Yeah, they, they're like never ending. Yeah. They're Unbelievable. Like cockroaches coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> yeah, every time I go through and I'll find... No, I've got, all, I've got them all. I've got them. Nope, I don't have that one. Yeah. You know, very cool though. I enjoy them. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Hold on, we got to do this right. Here we All right, we got the Pauline report from Dr. Von Chilla coming in live. He says, Pauline report, dateline today. Mrs. VC doesn't want to put Pauline through the surgery. Our last two cats were both females and neither were fixed. Hopefully, it won't become too much for my nerves. I have the veto, he says. <laughs> Well, there you go. There's the update for Pauline. She has been spared uh, under the knife. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Give her some treats and some hugs for all of us. Michael Taylor says, Shannon, where is your pen and paper? Oh, I know. You know, it's, it's, uh, I got all kinds of like little lists I've been making. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Mike Taylor says, cool, unexpected. Yes, sir, Re yeah. Bob. Thank you, sir. Love the Space Ranger. Get them whenever I can. Higgy Pop says, Space Ranger and Space Cabinet appear in the Starman run. <laughs> like he meant to say <laughs> Space Cabby. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. I bet you're right. Because I was like, Cabinet, okay. But Darn I just... that auto correct. <laughs> Mike Taylor says, very cool Detective Comics facsimile. Always liked that cover. Yeah, that's a cool one. Neil Adams, man. I love Neil Adams. Eric K says, I picked up that facsimile as well, Rod, this past Wednesday, along with a couple Bronze Age Brave and the Bold issues. Nice and weird Western tales. Cool beans. Ah, uh, I love uh, I love that Brave and the Bold series. That was it's always a favorite of mine. I know it's a favorite of yours too, there, partner. Oh yeah. Yeah, Michael Taylor says, Doc, fantastic books. Well, thank you very much, Michael. Appreciate that, as always. And Lady M says, here's hoping Pauline calms down soon, John. There you go. Make life easier. Higgy Pop says, Columbo is hands down the best. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Michael Taylor says, what's that 90-plus-year-old Shatler doing on a comic book cover? Like I said, can't keep I his nose out of anything. I don't know. I haven't read the book yet, so I, I'm hoping to. Isn't there a isn't there a documentary that's coming out about him? Just called "Just Don't Call Me" or "Call Me Bill" or something like that. I oh, believe I, it's coming I, out to theaters. I don't. Yeah. Out in theaters? Yeah. Really? Oh, I haven't heard anything about it. Yeah. I know he does some kind of a show on like Discovery Channel or something like that, talking about UFOs or something like that. So one of those weird type of things. So. Fireball Comics, check out William Shatner's version of the Cramps Garbage Man. <laughs> it's stellar. Yeah, yeah check it out. 
<laughs> I've never, never heard of it, man. Garbage, man. Oh, my gosh. Beckerman. Hey, Mr. Beckerman is with us. How are you doing, sir? Good morning, Beckerman. He says, hey, everyone. Sorry I'm late. I had an important glue sniff <laughs> business. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, just as long as you don't drop any on that third nipple, man, you'll be okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. You know, you get a business like that, you got to, you know, glue sniff it. You got to stick with it. Oh. Um, <laughs> folks. Good night, folks. Thanks for coming. I'm here all week. <laughs> Paulo Costa says, or Shatner's version of Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> Doesn't give Freddie Mercury a run for his money, but it does give him a stroll. <laughs> Poor William Shatner taking yeah. a pound in here. Dr. Bonchilla says, Marania, Pauline snapped out of it after a couple of days. It really wasn't that bad. I've seen much worse. If she could stay at that mi minimal intensity, she'll get a pass. And Pauline, too. <laughs> <laughs> well played, sir. Marania says, Ha, I got you, John. Absolutely. Eric K says Zany Bob Haney and Jim Apparel made for a pretty decent team on uh, Brave and the Bold back in the day. Absolutely, oh, yeah, yeah. they did. Verania says Extreme Movie Show Channel is reviewing Classic Columbo every Sunday, and she gives us the link to it. Please subscribe. Thank you for that information, Verania. Appreciate that. And always learning here. Always learning. Uh, Dr. Bachilla says, indeed, Eric, honey. Uh, Haney and apparel, Brave and the Bold, is great stuff. Yes, sir. -y. Lady M says, glad to, glad to see you. Good to see you, Beckerman. What's Cat Murdoch been up to after his early morning meal? There we go. And Quite Enough Sayer says, Graphic Man, videos, oldest search, literature lad. Winner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. Aha. <laughs> Mike Dale says, I don't know how true this is, but I heard that Peter Falk was seen ranting and raving on the streets years ago. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. That catches us up with the peanut gallery for this round. Micah, what do you say? It's up to you right now. Okay. Do you, uh, do you, now, do you want me to play that, uh, the file that you sent me? Here, here in just a second. Okay. Uh, you speak, know. Yeah. Speaking to, uh, as what Shannon was saying, that uh, you get good advice about uh, finding a black and white uh, pictures of uh, people to draw and stuff like that. I highly, If you want uh, human bodies, uh, get the old Prince Valiant series uh, and uh, the old Flash Gordon. There, there are some uh, great uh, art tips there. So I would, uh, I would find little things like this that had all just kinds of goofy little drawings in them. This is selling insurance or something, but um, I, I would keep those in a scrapbook to uh, give yourself uh, artistic ideas. So if I, you know, can't find a good uh, bunny rabbit that looks like he's on drugs or something, <laughs> <laughs> these are valuable later. So when you uh, when you start to draw, um, I uh, started drawing like in the Walt Kelly style, and. Uh, it just gets, I get crowded with my thoughts and ideas. Oh, nice. Move the that is awesome, man. I love black and white work. So, uh, very I cool. Can, great detail. Anyway, so my favorite was uh, getting the rabbit in the log. Yeah. And uh, so it's in the similar vein of what Walt Kelly would do when he would do Pogo. Very cool, Micah. That's man, awesome. That's great. Uh, now, if you can hit that video real quick, and I'll. I'll talk All right. About it. Here we go. Don Rosa. No, no, the, uh, oh, I'm supposed to send you a file. So that was my fault. Uh, just a second, folks. We practiced this last night. <laughs> you can see how it went so well. And it would help if I had it started. <clears throat> I'm learning new things every day to do with this streamline th stream yard thing. Five seconds. There it is. Okay. Back to StreamYard. Yard. 
Now, I'm sure you're losing all your viewers now. So, not at all. Not <laughs> at all. They're all waited with baiting breath. Baited breath. Yeah, they're going. This better be good. <laughs> okay. It's not going to work. So I'll carry on for a second uh, without it. Um, okay. So I would draw funny animal type things. Oh, like yeah. Rough and ready. Yeah. And when I ink, you see I start at the, the feet. I ink pretty, pretty good. The closer you get to the face, I get real nervous. And uh, I get real nervous with straight lines like the arrow and the bowstring. Uh, because I don't want to use a ruler. I just want to. I just want to eat. So, go ahead. Anyway, no, I, I just, uh, yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah, I was kind of wondering uh, when you're inking, do you use uh, like markers? You use pen and ink, like a croquel and or anything I can get. Anything I can get. <laughs> so, like so great. I wrote this poem out. Uh, it's Ode to a Corny Rhyme. Uh, and it's where I asked my wife to marry me. And uh, oh, nice. I, gave, I gave this to her and I read the poem to her as I proposed. And so, uh, but that's the style I do uh, kind of like Walt, Walt Kelly. Oh, that's awesome. That's um, cool. So I can show you a couple of uh, crazy things. Like uh, I did a couple of cover uh, reproductions. Here's Strange Adventures. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. really nice. So, uh, no, of course, I'm that's terrible. That's great work. With the water, yeah. but... Uh, now see that DC logo? Look how crisp and clean that. Well, that's because I cheated, and I those are little. I put, pasted those in there, but uh, <laughs> uh, hey, whatever work. works, all right? Yeah. So I my, when Graphic Man started. It was kind of just doing uh, cutesy videos and a few cover representations or uh, reproductions. So here's Amazing Ghost Stories wow. number fourteen, and oh, uh, it's yeah, just, very nice, man. It's just my, me trying to do the great. Uh, the great work that somebody else has already already done. My, that's uh, excellent, though, Micah. That's hey, really good. Shading. Is that ink wash, or do you just do that with a pencil, or what is that? Uh, mostly just black marker and then black ink uh, at, over pencil and over uh, blue ink. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah. So uh, this is whatever wow. ink pen I have on hand. And uh, so the idea is to convince somebody that's nearsighted, you know, if you see that on the wall, they, oh, he's got the original art. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so i love uh, i'm gonna mispronounce his name louis dominguez uh yeah that's right. weird war tales oh yeah i love that one. Oh, neat man and, that's uh, incredible yeah that's that's a that's a great refund, and I'll, man. I'll tell on myself you, you'll notice the round moon uh the reason this branch over here i'm getting right here is a little bit more extended than the actual one because I made it bulge when I, cause I don't want to use a tin can or anything like that. I just want to, and right. I'm, I don't make it quite round. So I had to cover up the fact, but, uh, so it, the more Looks I go good. in on the, the skull, you can see a little ink pen, very fine ink pen. And then I kind of bolding it up with, uh, that's, others. The, uh, really if you ever, work. If, you, if you ever look at the logo, he's got a bunch of dead bodies all through the word weird. Right. I wasn't, I wasn't about to try that. I, <laughs> <laughs> That's those are the those are the professionals. So here's uh Batman 104, uh, my version of uh Sheldon wow. Moldoff. Man, that's a lot of detail, yeah. Oh, yeah, that uh, that dragon that, well, that took some time, I can tell, yeah, yeah, that's great. And uh, little things that I you notice, like see the letter M, you'll notice that the uh, it's not uh, what you call it, symmetrical. Right. That's right. the way the M is. It's, it's slanted off to the one side. It just bothers you when you draw it. You're like, oh, this shouldn't be this way. But uh, <laughs> um, and unless I can get that file going, um, and I will, I will keep trying while you guys talk. But uh, did you, uh, did you do all those on the illustration board or? Well, like the first one I showed you. Uh, if you look closely. You'll see the uh, paper feed uh, holes. Oh, okay. yeah. Like okay. an old fashioned uh, dot matrix printer. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, uh, uh, back, you know, when you're when you're uh, struggling and you're in your young 20s, 
Uh, you can't afford, you know, birthday presents. You just draw them a picture and. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, I now, used to do that at Christmas. I draw winter scenes for my uh, aunts all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Awesome. 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 That's great stuff, man. Yeah, that is really great stuff indeed. I mean, you got some skills right there, mister. Well, unfortunately, there's a few more to show you. I just uh, just am having a hard time getting that uh, going. I We should have loaded it up earlier. I wasn't thinking, but uh, that's that's all right. We, we uh, that got stuff you show were great. Yeah. Yeah. And there we go with the you got the line there for uh Marania. And here we go. Fireball Comics says that pogo drawing graphic man was awesome. And yeah, there it is when you get to it. So okay. Uh, right there. Okay, you want me to put just throw it right up there with it? Where yes, it? please. So okay. add to the stage. There we go. So I would do a little just cutesy drawings. I'm more of a funny animal type. So there's a there's a dog sleeping. Um, here's a goofy as a western guy getting real mad because I thought a mad goofy western would be uh, somewhat interesting. But uh, this cat I saw on the Flintstones once, uh, <laughs> and I thought I should draw that. And uh, later I would try to digitize it, and put in a leopard print or some you know, into, cool. the, into the body. Uh, here's my version of a cat woman. Very uh, nice. Trying to make it look Jim Aparo. Is that how you pronounce it? Um, so back in the 1980s, 1987, I did this uh, panther with wings. And uh, nice. I, uh, of wow. course, I haven't, haven't taken the best care of it, but uh, uh, over the years. But I thought I'll take a photograph of that and then scan it. And then I can manipulate the colors on it. And uh, I found out I was better at manip manipulating graphics than actually drawing them. So that's <laughs> kind of why I, I do stuff. So this was a, uh, a comic book I was going to make when I had dreams of being a comic book illustrator. It was a book I had called uh, Panther's Hollow. And I tried to make the, uh, the title oh, nice. be in the shape of a panther with the letter S as the tail. And so it starred the great hero, Charlie the Squirrel, and Micah the Possum. <laughs> Micah was going to be the comic relief of the uh, the strip. And so, and I tried to get a little artsy with a few things. But uh, oh, that's great. Here is Micah yeah. the, the Possum wearing his apron that says, Kiss the Cook. So you could, he would be the, the goofball of the whole strip. Um, but it just, silly little gags and uh but when i really wanted to and i really wanted to ink it i i i was trying to get those paws and feet down pat but uh, that's as far as it went uh have no idea where the story was going to go with that but uh so when i do a pencil drawing this is kind of like a walt kelly scene where right. you have uh cranes flying by in the swamp so i would when i'd be happy with the pencils i would grab a scan of it and then i keep the pencil drawing over here and i would ink the scan and uh this oh, is why nice. i think i would be a better inker than an actual illustrator because i could go over things and and if you mess up you just kind of fudge around it and yeah, keep going yeah. And, that's incredible work yeah so like, uh, really that's incredible yeah that's uh, what white hat uh, is for right <laughs> yeah yeah and the computer will hide that for you. Yeah. So I'll get started on a tree and I go, I like this tree, and I, but I want to add background. So I'll, I'll scan this so I don't ever lose it. And then later I'll add in some background. So there's you nice. see the, little, the birds in the background flying. So Incredible, uh, man. I just, I just loved the swamp scenes that uh, Kelly would do, but he wouldn't do them very often. So I, I tried to do my version of them. And uh, oh, those are nice. I love that detail. And, uh, of course, I'm from the Ozarks. We we used to live in shacks back in the good old days. <laughs> once I ink it, I'll scan it, and then I can do some colored pencil on it to yeah. practice. But I still have the original. So Yeah, the, the shack thing looks like a, a Kentucky thing, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll color old pup dog there as he's going by with bluebirds. So. Nice. Uh, I My style is a funny animal, and that's all we got, uh, Doctor. But... Uh, Oh, that's awesome, yeah, that's, Michael. That's incredible. Wanted to add that in. That's great, man. Yeah. I that. 
it's great stuff. Wow. Very, oh. very cool. Oh, uh, in uh, high school, I uh, there was this this uh, artist, and he did a lot of women that had white faces. It was called Patrick Nagel, and I would I would do stuff like that. Uh, oh, you, cool. This style is probably familiar to you. you know, back in the 1980s, everybody uh, was. That's buying, incredible stuff, Micah. Buying, they were buying airbrushes and doing T-shirts for everybody, and so uh, um, as this is what I call the Patrick Nagel girls. You see the frames. <laughs> frames don't actually fit the thing. Uh, oh, wow. Great. Yeah. So that was, it, it influenced me, you know, 1986, stuff like that. So, but uh, oh, that's great stuff. Yeah. Incredible. Now, the reason that the reason that black looks so good, I, I would mask everything off and put black spray paint. So you don't have to mess with it. Uh, that, that's all. Um, very cool. <laughs> so I, I was all over the place, but uh, I found out I would I could just really do something goofball, like take a movie poster and manipulate it. And oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's incredible. That. That's that's where I'm at now. Um, I don't I don't really draw too much anymore, but I'll I'll manipulate and add silly things like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really like that one. <laughs> He's wishing he was deaf instead of blind there. Yes, yes, exactly. And so this old crusader from Mars, when Captain Strange Life dared me to make that guy Robin, and then I just kept going. <laughs> so. Did he have oh, a double uh, there yet, or was that just... No, he just asked. And if you look closely, <laughs> here's the Martian Manhunter way in the background. So. Yeah. Oh, cool. yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's supposed to be on Mars, so... Just real briefly, my one of my best was uh, the Vault of Mystery. Oh, that's cool. Look and at if you, that. If you look at the ashes, it says the ashes of graphic man. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Oh, man. A couple more, and I'll let you guys go. Uh, uh, Trigger, you remember the Lois Lane where she's a centaur? Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. it's... Uh, Kind of a <laughs> kind of oh, one of my God. oddest uh, covers. Uh, mm, nice hint of bestiality, I guess. But uh, <laughs> and Eric it. Eric Breen said, "Hey, this guy's turning into a werewolf." But she says the word "thing." Can you make him into the thing? So I even did this feet popping out of his shoe. <laughs> and, uh, so. Excellent. Yeah, that's great stuff. Three more here. All right. My recent ones, the Submariner is. I love that one too. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That is just, I mean, that's just cool. Yeah, that is very Even cool. Putting the tail on was the most difficult. Matching that up to his flesh. Yeah. Now, did it break your heart when you found out that sea monkeys were nothing but brine shrimp? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> boring. Very boring. Oh, Making yeah, that was another nice one. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's great. Putting some great marvel into action. And uh, another movie cover, The Mole People. And uh, I just Lord. left uh, left Cynthia in there as uh, Sue Storm. Just just basically colorized her to a blue costume. And Nice. All that. Excellent stuff, man. So, And that, that really is it. So, Wow. For the three people that are still left watching. So. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Great stuff, Micah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. All right. Let's go back and see what the peanut gallery is saying. We got Fireball Comics saying that Pogo drawing graphic man was awesome. Absolutely. Eric K says, indeed, it was Fireball. Great job, graphic man. You want to jump in, partner? Oh, yeah. It says that rough and ready piece of spot on. Yeah, it was. That's really good. <laughs> Hippies Collectible says, Micah, those pieces are excellent. Thank you. Without a doubt, they are. It's Absolutely. tremendous work. And Eric K says, Micah, wow, I am so impressed, sir. Yeah. As we all are. Yeah. yeah love it. And Rob Brown says, very nice art, Micah. There you go. There's some high praise right there. Thank you. And Dr. VC, wow, the cover reproductions are awesome. Gasp. Absolutely. Maranya says, very nice art, Micah. 
And Mastodon says, Mikey, don't be surprised if you don't receive a message from me down the road asking for a commission. Oh, you'd be disappointed. <laughs> there, you there you go. Start of a new Coming career right there. Business, man. That's it. The business. birth of a new career. Marania says, Rob can confirm this, but back in the day, the trade dress portion of the cover was drawn two to three times the size of what it would appear on the cover and oh, reduced boy. to make it look smooth and perfect. Yeah. And Michael says, oh, man, fantastic artwork graphic, man. Do you draw from memory or do you have covers beside you as you draw? I have it on a screen, like a computer screen in another room, and then I'm over here. Uh, doing my best and starting over many times. So <laughs> oh, awesome. Awesome. Maya Greenblatt says fantastic artwork, Micah. Thanks for sharing with everyone. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Von Chell says, can't be late with lunch today. I've been fasting for 30 wow. hours and I'm kind of getting hungry. Great show. Wow. Gentlemen, come back next, come back soon. Graphic man. See y'all next week. Please love yourselves. All right. John. Wow. Have a great weekend, buddy. Yes, take care, John. Thanks for spending your Saturday with us once again, my friend. Take care. Have a great week. Eric K says, see you, John. And if you say later, John. Maranya says, inking by hand is a lost art these days in modern comic books, sadly. Yeah. Very true. Very true. And ECR says, I'm loving the Graphic Man origin story. So much awesome artwork. Yes, sir. And here's great, the great Gratu. He's saying, great, Micah. Hey, Gratu, how's it going? Hey, we might be live on his show. <laughs> hey, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Marania says, take care, John, and give Pauline some love, pets, and treats for all of us here, for her and all of us here. And Anthony Producer says, belated. Hi, everyone. Love the fabs, funny animal books. Scamp, Andy Panda, HB, Sylvester, favorite duck is Gyro Gearless. You're among the best, GM. Funny oh. animals rule. Ha, ha, ha. There you go. And Lady M says, the longest fast I've ever done was 60 hours a few weeks back. Believe me, I wanted to eat everything in sight afterwards. Oof. I've had to fast uh, for some blood work and stuff like that over the last couple weeks. It's not something I want to get into a regular habit of doing. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, I've had a, I've got a cousin that uh, he does some of that intermittent fasting, and he's lost like uh, thirty seven pounds like in a couple of months. Wow! Yeah. Holy mackerel! And Robert Harrison is very interesting, Micah. Thank you. Eric K says sixty hours, Lady M. Wow! Yeah, that's a long time. That is a long time. And Meyer says, I used to have a nagel print yeah. over my fireplace in 1986. That was very cool. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Eric K says, I would want to eat my right arm after a couple of days on a fast that long. <laughs> and she says, Mikey, you might want to investigate the refillable marker pens from dickblick.com. They have many sizes of nibs, and you can avoid ink bloops on your artwork. We had those in high school. They were called tech pins. Right. Everybody else calls them. Yeah, I got some in a drawer over here right now. Cool. Tempest from Mars says, when's the art book coming out, Graphic Man? Never. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, we're going to get us some demand going here. And That's it. Get to him. Well, that was easy showing them because you don't stare at them very long. You stare at them long enough. You'll see what some things you know you shouldn't see. <laughs> oh, no, they look good to me. They look Being perfect. Modest. Being modest. And Michael Taylor says, I've drawn some comic covers in the past, like Action 1, Detective 27, Wiz Comics 2, etc. Mm -hmm. But I have the covers beside me as I drew. They came out pretty close to the originals. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Wow. Very cool. We need some Michael Taylor content on YouTube. Yeah. That's right. That's I was just going to say the same thing. You are hey, right. Hey, we finally got Eric K on here after years and years and years and years and years of pressure. So maybe after a while, we'll get Michael Taylor on here. Come on, Michael. Come on. Brian, you says you can also use any India ink brand to refill the markers as well. Good to know. Good to know. Hey, Tony's in the house. Why not art? Hey, Tony. Thanks for joining us, man. He's saying, hello, everyone. Lovely art, Micah. Now, there's an artist right there, Tony. Absolutely. Lots of great, talented people in this community. 
Baranya says, hey, good to see you, Tony. Happy saying, yo, Tony. Eric K says, hey, why not, Art? And Gray Man's in the house from across the pond. Hey, folks. Hey, Welcome, Gray sir. Man. Great to have you with us, sir. Thanks for joining us. Eric, Eric K. K says, Gray Man. And Anthony Purdue says, along with Marks and Kelly, one of the greatest FA artists, in my opinion, is Al Hubbard. Yep. Dale's Andy Hardy, Scamp, and other Dale Go Key Funny Animals. Yes. DM's love of FAs is undeniable. Yeah. There his, you go. His, his scamp was just dynamite. Ah, cool. Why not, Art? Says hi, Maranya, and to Eric as well. And Maranya saying good afternoon from this side of the pond, Gray Man and Lady Lisa. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mike Taylor says great, great art graphic, man. I also have done some funny image collages as well, says Michael. Very cool. And Tony saying, Tom. And Anthony Purdue says, great to receive greetings from all my PG friends. <laughs> and Michael saying hello to Why Not Art. Hippies Collectible says, collect what you like and love what you collect. Peace. True yeah. word for never spoken. And Maranya says, peace to you as well, hippies. Gray Man says, wow, I am so late on today. I was working on a haunted pub video. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, I love it. Dr. Von Taylor, uh, Michael Taylor says, Dr. Von Dr. V, have a great weekend and upcoming week, Dr. Von Chile, he says. And my Greenback says, in 86, I financed my couch, a TV, and the Nagel. For my first off-base apartment. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. What else do you need, right? Michael Taylor says, oh, man, I don't know how Dr. V and Maranya did that. <laughs> Makes me hungry just hearing about it. Yes, sir. -y. Says, I drank a lot of water and got good amounts of sleep, Michael. Says, yeah. Maranya. Sleep through it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And Tony Why not? says, hey to Michael Taylor. And that catches us up with that round of the peanut gallery. And we are 10 past 10 past noon. So wow. uh, we, we can go longer, can't we? We, we can. <laughs> we can. You got some books more you want to show? Yeah, I wanted to show that just because of Micah. Uh, now, this is my favorite uh, Dale comic series. I, I hadn't even heard of this series. And I went and speaking of like first comic shows, uh, one of the first conventions we had right here in Kentucky, I think the first time they had the Lexington Comic Con up here, I went and I found a guy that had like a bunch of uh, old Dells and like old Brave and Bowls like for two bucks a piece. So I was all over it, you know, money was yeah. fine. And, uh, and I found this and I think I had heard of this, but I'd never seen any of the covers. And so I picked the, probably about half of the run up at that show, I pulled out everything he had, but uh, probably my favorite Dell title is uh Kona. Oh yeah, great Monarch of Monster All. This is actually yeah. the first appearance. This is four color uh, 1256. Yeah. Oh wow. And it's a little bit different from what came Kona became later, you know. Right, right. It's pretty mm -hmm. beat up, you know, but hey, it's complete. You know, I got to read it. Look I mean that cover is just outstanding. And mm -hmm. that's his first appearance? That's first appearance. Four wow. color twelve fifty six. Yeah. That is cool. Radish I I've been wanting to upgrade this, but man the any kind of decent mid grade copy on up is like so okay. I'll, I'll be happy with this one for right now. <laughs> I okay, hear you, here's bro. uh you know you know the way Dale did things. They would show an appearance and then they would get his own title. Then the first issue of that would be like the second issue in the Indicia. So you know, uh here we got number two. Yeah. Wow. Excellent. Nineteen sixty two. And number three, he, as I say, you know, he, uh, he went from a brunette to a blonde. Talk about poster worthy. Yeah, I know, right? I think like the it. first 14 issues were all painted covers. After that, it was like comic art. And yeah. I think uh, pretty much Sam Glansman was like the artist on all this. Oh, this, uh, war veteran uh, uh, right. artist. Here we got number four. That is great. 
<laughs> Number five. Kitty is yeah, out of cool. control. Is that Pauline? <laughs> no. Yeah, it is. It's either that or my son and daughter-in-law's cat, uh, yeah. Rosie Lavender. I just, Rosie uh, Lavender. Yeah, they're on a they're on a trip to Cincinnati, like I said, and uh, so I've been uh, going over and, and feeding the cat. And here we have a, another duplicate. Hey, all right. Imagine nice. that. Here's one of my favorites. Number six. Look oh, at that. Yeah. That's some detail in that right there. It didn't. It didn't get any better than that. Oh. And there's another one. <laughs> Number seven. Yeah, I have that. Well, one. that's a tarot. Got to get yes. those ants out of there. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, it's not the uncles you got to worry about. It's the that's ants. Right. And number eight. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Number nine. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh wow, scorpion. Ooh. Great and stuff. Number 10, Kona returns to fight for Monster Isle. Wow. Excellent. Oh, that's great. And here's another great cover with a giant alligator. Number 11 with the, uh, got the little date stamp there. Nice. A lot of these I haven't seen. It's not a, not a series you see a lot of. Yeah, I think there's like 21 issues maybe. I think I'm maybe two or three shy, but it was like the later ones with like the comic art on the cover. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's another copy of that one and another copy of that one. Uh, <laughs> here's number 12. Oh, goodness. Wow. And number 13 with a pink background there. Oh, uh, that's neat. And last of the uh, painted covers, I think. It's number 14. It's another one of my favorites. Wow. Cool beans. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, there's another one. <laughs> okay, now we get into, like, the comic art. This is uh, Sam Glansman, as I said before, number 15. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's just, oh, those painted covers are so dynamite, but. But that's right. still pretty good. Still pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it is. And number 16. And that guy, Kona, they, he kind of looks like somebody else I, I recognize there. Yeah, I know. That might have been what drew me to it, you know. <laughs> and especially this one, you're you're on the, you hit the yeah. nail on the head, you yeah. know. Look at that. Yeah. Number 19. Excellent. And the last one I got number 20. I think there was 21 issues in the run, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty good cover. Very yeah, nice. I just want to pull those out for my kids. Like I said, it's my favorite oh, series. So. You can almost uh, see a 10-year influence later for Commandy. Really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think a lot of people kind of influenced each other. Yeah. As far as that goes. Agreed. Oh, all right. Let's see. Where did I leave off? I believe I left off right here. Okay, so Anthony produced his new Navy SEAL uh, Vietnam vet. He only read fabs, and he certainly would have considered GMs if 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 A's. Yeah. Funny art books, I think. This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And GM funny art is fantastic. Yep. Very Absolutely cool. Is. And Michael says, Maranya, I don't blame you. <laughs> okay, this uh, she's giving a link to the Dick Blick products. Yeah. Uh, cool. Markers, I mean, Dale Rowney, not the rapidograph pins of the old. <laughs> yeah, I've actually got a set of rapidograph pins in there, too. Maybe used them three times. Now, what's the, what's the, like a rapidograph pen? What What is that uh, actually? Let's see. Just happen to have those handy for a change. Cool bean. Uh, Oh yes, yes. That looks yeah, like my uh, You just uh, the refillable. Yep. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh, I've used them a few times, and they're actually really good for doing detail. Fine, very fine. Yeah, fine stuff. Yeah, yeah they're different. And different you know, let's see. And uh, uh, this is one of those things. Like, okay, I've kept them forever. I've not really had a chance to use them like I wanted to, but yeah, it, it, it's yep. good stuff. Very cool, very cool. See, I'm, I'm, I'm still learning about the the art stuff. I've never, never got into the art. I always pretty much stuck with pencil, 
Uh, very rarely did I delve into any kind of ink ink work, but uh, I'm fa finding more that I want to get more into that ink work. You yeah, know? it's fun. Yeah. Oh, all right, here we go. And Robert Harrison saying so long. Until next time. Thanks everyone. Robert, thank you very much for hanging out with us again, sir. And thank you so much for uh, hitting us up with that question of the of the day. Appreciate it, sir. Oh, well, yeah, I forgot to, to mention that I was going to, uh, as far as like the first cons and shows, you know, I went to like little shows. They'd have them like at Holiday Inn and stuff like that. You'd have eight, 10, 12 dealers, you know, and it was all great because, hey, look at all the back issues. But a couple memories hit me. Uh, there was one guy, he had his little black book, had his list. And I was looking at some stuff, and I, was, I picked a few out of the top. You know, a lot of these weren't bagged or boarded. All right, this was like the 80s. And so uh, he went in there, and, and he says, oh, man, you see the, the brown on the top of those. You know it's a good one, you know. And he start, went in, and it was like a feeding frenzy, man. He was like a shark. So he said, whoa, 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 you know. And uh, I remember another one uh, I took my son to when he was young, and they had like one artist there. And I was like, what's, what's the line for? I said, yeah, some guy named Kirkman. Uh, he's got this book called Invincible. I was like, never heard of it. You know, so probably could have got an autograph from Kirkman. Ended up getting one later because my, my uh, daughter lived in Atlanta for a while and she worked for Atlanta Tourism where they filmed Walking Dead. So she got a, she got a couple of Invincible, or I mean Walking Dead comics autographed for me by Kirkman. Oh, but as cool. far as like the first convention, uh, it was in Ohio, mid-Ohio con Columbus, probably 2004, 2005. I guess the convention proper, but all kinds of great people are, like I said, John Byrne, Steve Englehart, uh, Noel Neal, like the actors from the X, uh, X files, uh, Sergio Arjones, uh, Jeff Smith from bone. Yeah. He was there. Just all kinds of great people. Wow. Uh, yeah. That, that was very cool. Awesome. 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 All righty. Uh, Michael saying fantastic Conan. Yes, certainly are. And Ron, you said, take care, Robert. And Anthony says, Brother Shen, you know I love caveman characters. Coney gets better than that. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> and Michael says, fantastic pterodactyl Kona cover. I'm a big fan of pterodactyl covers. Yeah. yeah it is, yes. Stuff. And Anthony saying, take care, everyone. Family matters must be attended to. Understood, sir. Thank you for spending your Saturday it. with us, Anthony. Greatly appreciate it, sir. And thank you for that wonderful story. Yeah, to begin absolutely. the show. And Eric K., so unlike you, Shannon, have duplicates. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> he has the same sickness, you know. Bron yeah. <laughs> uh, says, take care of yourself and your family, Anthony. Absolutely. absolutely. And Higgy says, great Kona book, Shannon. Thank you, sir. And Michael saying, Shannon, fantastic Kona covers, every one of them. Yep. Take care, Anthony, says Eric K. And Ronnie says, her pentagraphs are technical pins usually used by draftsmen. The ones I linked to also can get very fine lines and also very yeah. broad ones depending on the nibs. Yeah. Yeah, that was mostly, you know, the pentagraphs mostly like just doing straight line stuff where you have a ruler and a triangle. And, you know, if you're doing stuff uh, within a template, they're good for that. Cool beans. That's good to know because I may have to hunt some of those down. They sound pretty neat. Yeah, and here's Rob Brown making me feel old. Oh, repentograph pins. Yeah. I was using those back in the 80s. <laughs> they were very popular in the 80s, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was that was the, the stuff back then. Yeah. You know? yeah. Wow. And Ron says, I used repentographs back then myself, Rob, for lettering. I did all my inking with dip pens. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Michael saying bye to Robert. All right. And I think that catches us up with that round. So... Um, I wanted to, uh, uh, just a few moments here to, to show, uh, I didn't get a chance to do it while Robert's there. So I'll have to contact Robert and let him know to check out the end of the show. Um, my first convention, uh, around here was, uh, about 20 minutes away in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And, uh, uh, it was pretty cool. I didn't realize how cool it was then. I didn't appreciate it, but, uh, because, there were these two guys that were debuting a comic book series there. Uh, their names was Laird and Eastman. Yeah. And uh, they debuted the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, they had just started uh, doing. And so uh, there I picked up a couple of, of the first couple issues 
uh, and just had them just, it was just more of an investment type thing, just in case they took off. And they yeah. did, they paid off for me later on down the road uh, to help finance uh, some of my Silver Age collection. Uh, so that was pretty cool. But I, I do have some stuff from there uh, in my little trusty portfolio that I keep here. So I figured I'd show those for Robert. Ah, let's see. Here are some of the comics that I bo bought, and they were being, um, uh, they were independent, and they were being uh, debuted at the at the place. So hold on here, and we'll throw it up. Okay, here's one from Spectrum Comics called The Guardian. Oh wow, I've never seen that one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's like a real small press type of thing. Uh, but it's it was autographed by Steve Warren, who is the, the fellow on it. That's good stuff. He did a, a lot of work on there. Um, there's a, another series that had debuted was The Survivors. Oh, cool. Nice. And I believe, yeah, this was also done by Warren, Steve Warren. Here's uh, issue number two. And uh, issue number three. Nice. So that was very cool to pick those up. And then they, they put out this, uh, like, special previews one, uh, magazine style. Oh, that's a cool one. So I figured I'd take that out and share a little bit of that. It's got a nice little cover on there. The little thing right here. It's like a little... It reminds me of the spider robot thing from Johnny Quest. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but I mean, it was... Yeah, our work wasn't, wasn't bad. That's nice. Yeah. It was pretty cool. For its time, like I said, there was a lot of in independence coming out around this time. And this is where he signed it for me. It was very nice. It says, in the beginning. So, all kinds of neat stuff. Oops, I can't see it. There we go. The Steve Warren sketchbook. You know, so this was, uh, again, stuff that I picked up at that very convention, my very first convention. And then I picked up a bunch of uh, original art. Uh, I can't remember the group, what their name was, and I can't even remember the poor fellow's name that did it, Bob something. Because um, I love team books, you know that. Oh, that's a nice piece of work. Yeah. So, but and this was signed by him and the different, the different characters. Pretty cool. Uh, and then I got a little folder of some artwork. This is, this is my, my wife wanted this one here. Sketch for Starlight. Plate of Survivors. Starlight was one of the characters in the Survivor, in that Survivor series, one of the characters. And my wife liked that character. Oh, so, cool. so probably oh, yeah. it's not going to come on now. Come on. There we go. So is that, and it's, and it's drawn on a backing board. I think all of these were on some kind of a, like a backing board. Here's another uh, one. This was to my wife. He actually signed, signed it and then uh, put to Tamara, my wife, because my wife loved the character. And he did a couple of these. Here's another one of that character for my wife. Good stuff. 
And the last character for my wife, which was a takeoff on cover number three. Nice. So, very cool stuff. And then, let's see. I got one more piece in here. Uh, this one he did for me. Uh, this was so the convention was 1984, and I know that because that's what the date is on here. And he did this one for me. So that's a nice piece. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now these were all really really cool pieces of artwork. I could not find the two that I really wanted to show, which were uh, uh, artwork done by. Uh, Laird and Eastman. Uh, you had one done from each of them. They were done on backing boards. One was uh, two of the turtles holding Captain America's shield with a couple of Avengers in the background, Cap and Iron Man, I believe, or Cap and Thor. Uh, and the two turtles are having a discussion, and one of them says to the other, Oh, it says he throws it. <laughs> <laughs> Which was very cool. And I got to find, I don't know where I put them. They might be upstairs in one of the yearbooks type things uh, to protect them. I can't remember exactly, but I got to find them. And the second one was just a, a one that he drew for me uh, there um, with one of the turtles hanging on for dear life on the back of the Hulk as the Hulk is leaping through the air. So <laughs> fun stuff indeed. But those were memories uh, from my very first, uh, very first convention. And this is this is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I I can't even remember how long ago I drew that. Oh, it's like yours. That's cool, man. Right? But um, so yeah, that was that was fun. It was a lot of fun. But it, it I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh, all right. Let's go back here and let's see. Let's see. Here we go. Maranya, she provided the line once again. Thank you, Maranya. And Tony Why Not Art says, I still have my repeatograph pens and designer markers from Pearl Paint Store in New York. No longer in existence, sad, he says. Mm. Very cool. Maya Greenblatt says, Rod, I currently use Copic multi-liner pens. I like these very similar to the old repeatograph and affordable. Oh, cool. Yep. Cop Copic multi-liner. I got to remember that. Thank you for that, Meyer. Appreciate yep. that. Higgy Pop says, great show as always, guys. Awesome artwork. Micah, take care, <laughs> everyone, and see you soon. Thank you very much for being with us, Higgy. Appreciate it, Thank man. Thank you, brother Higgy. Have a great one. Take care. Hey, Psychotronic Squirt Gun, Aaron. How you doing? Great to have you with us, sir. Hey, Aaron. Great to see you, buddy. He says, hey, Rod and gang, holding those books up to the camera. Right on, brother. There you go. There you go. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. Eric K says, see ya, Higgy Pop. Mike Taylor says, Doc, very cool that you still have stuff from your very first convention. Yeah, I, I keep that. It's always been in the portfolio. Uh, that's the only way I can protect it. Uh, and, and thank goodness it's been, uh, been able to do the job. Michael Till says, you too, Higgy. Tony, why not art? He says, hey, lovely art rod. I picked up some of those comics at the Koch Warehouse. Great stuff that goes overlooked and is underrated. Yeah, you didn't see, see or hear much about those comics, uh, the on the the survivors and the other one there, um, I don't think they took off. They certainly didn't grab any any uh, uh, attention nationally. No major awards or anything. Huh? No, not that I'm aware of. No, but uh, it's still it's it's just a unique piece, you know, piece of history. Ranger Sly, another neighbor to the north. Great to have you with us, sir. Thanks for spending part of your Saturday with us. Hey, Ranger, how's it going? He says, howdy, guys. Just woke up. Didn't have a wink last night because my cold kept me awake. Couldn't breathe. Cough, cough. Oh, my gosh. Well, we're oh, hoping good. you're feeling better today. Sam. Yeah. Get well soon, buddy. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And he also says, I'll watch the show later on the rebound. Well, thank you very much, Ranger. Appreciate that, sir. Always appreciate your support. Eric K says, hey, Ranger Sly, sorry to hear you're not feeling well. Absolutely. We send the best wishes your way. 
Ranger Sly says, thank you, Eric. Eric K says, 84, Rod? I was 17. Oh, wow, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts, Eric. 84, he says, I was 17. And that September, I was going into my senior year at high school. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was I was three years removed from high school, but <laughs> yeah, I was, that was just that was four, so I was right there with you. Tony says, "Feel better, Ranger Sly." Absolutely, words from all of us. Ranger Sly says, "Thank you." Why not? Thank you, Tony. Mike Taylor says, "Doc, very cool that you have original art from the Turtles creator." That's around the time that Turtle One came out. Yes, yeah, it was. It was shortly after. I think the first couple issues were out, uh, but they were still debuting them. They didn't have a whole lot of outlets, I guess. Uh, so they were do doing them uh, at these conventions and everything, and they just happened to be there because uh, one of them was from New Hampshire. I can't remember which one, but one of them, I believe, was from New Hampshire. So it was very, very cool indeed. And uh, I did not keep the turtle books. Like I said, they helped finance part of my Silver Age collection that I currently have. But those uh, those drawings were that they are not going anywhere. Uh, those are staying with me. Cheap comic collector, he says, best show ever. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to check out Triple C after we go off the air here because he's going to be uh, giving out, out uh, some some comics there for uh, you can pick up real cheap. And he gets some good bargains on th some of that stuff, man. So definitely check him out after the show. Great stuff. Rod Brown says, my first comic show was way back in 84. There you go. Was the art club president. I made a field trip out of it. There you go. Nice. Nothing wrong with that. Cool yeah. beanies. Ranger Sly says, I missed Micah. Arg. <laughs> uh, He's there. right there. He's right yeah. up there. He's right up there. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Taylor says, great show as always. Had a blast. Doc Shannon, Graphic Man, and Peanut Gallery. Have a great weekend and a great upcoming week. And same to you, Michael. Thank you so much as always. See you, Michael. QNS, he says, great work, Rod. She's a raven-haired ninja. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. That's right. It keeps me in line, mister. I'll tell you that much. Keeps me off the street. <laughs> Easy Comic Reader says, y'all take care, folks. Love the show. Fist bump. Thank you so much, Easy Comic Reader. Appreciate it once again. Uh, thank you so much for your contributions to the show. We greatly appreciate it. Eric K says, see you, Michael. He also says, peace, easy. Lady M says, take care, everyone. Ranger, have chicken soup, lots of fluids, and cocoon up in blankets to feel better. Sounds like a good prescription for happiness right there. Yeah. And Mastodon Comics says, 1984. I better not say how old I was, but I might have still been pooping my pants. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Well, uh, let's see. We got Tony saying, take care, Michael. And Ranger Sly saying, thanks to Maranya. And Splash Page Comics, Sean. Hey, how you doing, Mr. White Gloves? Hey, good to have you. He says, nice show. Thank you so much for spending part of your Saturday with us. Appreciate it, sir. Tony says goodbye to Maranya. And Maranya says, also watch this show on the replay, Ranger. Best cure for what ails you. Thank you, Maranya. Very nice words. Appreciate that. So, and I think that catches us up with everybody. Well, Micah, thank you so much, man, for uh, agreeing to come on and, yeah. and show us some of that great stuff. Oh, thank you for having me. Um, I, I'm a big fan, and uh, to be on the show is even better, so. Oh, we, well, we're happy really, to have you, man. Uh, any uh, anything else you want to show? Any final thoughts? No, no. Uh, these poor people need to go have lunch, and so <laughs> I don't need to. <laughs> no. Oh well, we we do have we do have a little something here I want to show. So right. we'll show do it right now from courtesy of Graphic Man. Hey, look at that! <laughs> there we go. Wednesday night, man. Rob, the great legend's going to be on there. Can't wait to see. You guys are going to be talking about Dick Tracy, huh? Oh, yeah. Lots of good crime-stopping uh, Dick Tracy action. So cool. Can't wait to see it. All righty. 
What, what about you, partner? What do you got going on the rest of the weekend? Uh, probably not a whole lot. Uh, I, I did my duty as far as going and feeding Miss Rosie Lavender for the kids. And uh, probably just going to hang out, maybe, uh, you know, watch a little bit of the NCAA this weekend. I've been uh, trying to come in here at least like 30 or 40 minutes every night and just trying to put stuff back where it belongs. If there is a place where anything belongs in this mess, <laughs> you guys know how it is. Exactly. And uh, I might, might actually go to my drawing board. I mean, Mike has kind of inspired me, you and you and well, him good. both, to uh, get back and do a little bit of drawing. Wow. Well, awesome. Awesome. I can't wait to see what's on the board next week. Well, actually, I'm, I've got to announce that uh, there won't be a show next week because I'm going to be at the convention. So, unfortunately, we're going to take a, a week off. Uh, so, hopefully, uh, uh, everybody will enjoy the weekend and come back and visit we, us the uh, following weekend. Uh, we, we forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I don't. It's very rare that I get to go off to a convention, and so I'm really looking forward to this one. So. Uh, and see Mr. Steranko once again, because he is, he is just wonderful to, to listen to. He's such a crazy nut. So, but, all right. So uh, we will see everybody in two weeks. And Micah, thank you once again. For, yes, uh, thank you so much. Yes, I mean, greatly appreciate it, sir. And everybody tune in Wednesday night to Micah's show, the new Graphic Man shoe, show. Shoe, really big shoe. Really big shoe. <laughs> You know, uh, and this week he's going to have the great legend on there. So definitely check it out. Uh, we look forward to seeing you. All right. All right, everybody. That's it for us. Uh, we'll be back in two weeks at the same bat time, same bat channel. Hope you can join us then. Till then, everybody be good to each other and have a great couple of weeks. Uh, enjoy. See you guys. Take care, everybody. Wrong one. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. That's my intro. Where's my outro? There we go.